Hello, everyone. Welcome to Beam. For some reason, YouTube didn't want to get the stream started, but we are here. We are here. We are back on the original Descent map. Uh, it's a really cool map. It is a really cool map, this one. Uh, it is, in some ways, a little more challenging than the Downhill Mayhem map that... Uh, that we have done. It is one continuous downhill slope. There are many obstacles from ramps to speed bumps to a narrow strip of concrete you've got to get across, otherwise you crash. We've got this horrible section, uh, followed by this horrible section, followed by some more ramps on grass, which is going to go wrong, followed by some rocks. Things like to fall over on the rocks. And then there's a bumpy dirt section. And then there's some containers that generally throw cars around. And then there's a checkerboard. And then there's these tubes, these sort of half pipes. You hit the wall there, you're going to have a bad day. Uh, we have these bits. These aren't too bad. Well, as your car's got broken steering, of course. We then have some ice. There's no grip, funnily enough, on the ice. Uh, then we have the impalement spike. Many cars are going to end up on that if they aren't careful. We have a variety of objects here from jumps and ramps to a tunnel that you can end up in. Uh, we have then got some trees to avoid, some craters to avoid, and then to finish off, we have a sand section with some sand dunes and then a mud pit. The goal is simple. Get your car to the bottom in one piece. And it must be a working piece for it to count. So if you get your car to the bottom and it's just a giant ball of metal and someone uh, follows you down in second place with a fully working car, they will win the round. Uh, somehow, I've been punted. My brakes are apparently good enough, though. Um, I don't know who did it. I'm going to hazard a guess it was Gliska or Lado. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure which one, but it was probably one of them that did it. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> In fact, Lado's running away. <laughs> it was either Gliska. Really, because uh, Gliska was playing Demo Derby with Brazen beforehand. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah. So we, the idea is we try and get to the bottom in one piece. Now, because it's still a race, so if you do not go fast enough and someone beats you down there, well, you're going to lose. So it's a good old risk versus reward uh, challenge uh, going on down here. We have three runs before we swap the sort of vehicles that we are driving. And we're starting off with, we start off with class. We generally run this with class, get a bit of variety. Uh, we have got sort of two-door sports cars. There's uh, there's no real rules. Like, we, ha we have like a class for the vehicles rather than, like, specific pathway or anything. I've got 700 horsepower in this, but I'm not going to be able to use it most of the time. Uh, I think we are ready to begin our first round. Now, in a very brief test, I have seen that this 200BX, it is possible to do it. The trick is I'm going to have to be careful. We're going to have to be very careful here with how we do this. The last thing we want to do is fall over. We are off the line relatively quickly, and then we're going to be on the brakes. So we've got slick tyres, which will be good on this section. We'll have a lot of grip, but it won't be very good on the dirt. Uh, oh, Lado is going for it. Lado is going quicker than I want to go here. Uh, I think I have race brakes. Lado's over. Lado may well be out of it. Now, you can say... Oh, oh, Brazen gave us a big bump. I do not want to be going this fast, not towards the rocks, because these rocks, my car, oh, uh oh, well, I was avoiding the rocks, I have avoided the rocks, Lado's still in the lead, but Lado is wildly out of control, we are fine here, no, I am going to try, and, oh, I've lost steering a little bit, steering's a problem, steering's a problem for me, something's broken in my car, okay, we are across the centre, I can hear an SBR4, I can hear a brazen. There's the brazen SBR4 going. Now, onto the ice. You want to go down this section. Now, we've got to pick up some pace here because brazen is now in front of us. I don't think I want to go this... Well, I don't know how much grit brazen's going to have on the... Because we're going to, if we go down this way, we've got to get the car left to avoid the sand dunes. Right, we're going to have to send it to try and beat brazen. Oh, don't do a front flip. No. No, it did a front flip. Land on your wheels. It's not going to land on its wheels. <laughs> oh, no. We had to send it. Uh, my engine is stalled. But, oh, it's actually got really close. It's a really close first round. Brazen makes it across the line. Ah. 
We will cross the line in second. Brazen has a work. Our car stalled again. <laughs> Brazen has a working car. We have a working car. If if it hadn't dug in, if it hadn't dug in and flipped, we would have been okay. However, it did dig in. That was actually one of the closest rounds we've had, uh, and it's the first round. My 200 BX is fine. Brazen's SBR4 is fine. What happened to the rest? Here is the question. <laughs> Not many got it too far. Danger Man has met a tree. It's not in great condition. I don't think that's working. Rusky is still going with a 200 BX. That's still moving. Did anyone get impaled? No, no one got impaled on the spike. Gliska has stopped heavy damage on Gliska's car. Uh, now, of course, damage doesn't sink perfectly. However, uh, yeah, heavy damage on Gliska's car. Speed Beast hit the half pipe and died. Shadow has hit the half pipe and died. Uh, Shadow, I think Shadow rolled before then. We saw Lado's spectacular tumble in the Wendover. Kind of a rally, rally, race spec Wendover. Uh, it is smashed to pieces. Um, yeah. Two of us made it. Two of us made it. It was quite a good run. Uh, Volt, thank you very much for the super chat, by the way. I uh, saying, could I interest you lots in a round at some point where everyone has a trailer of some sort? Was that too harsh on the game slash individual PCs? I wish we could. I really wish we could run trailers. They're, they're, it's going to lag quite badly. Um, unfortunately, you're just kind of doubling the entities uh, going down. Um, which is a shame. Uh, we can we can definitely have a well, well we can definitely have a round of like big vehicles that can be a little problematic, but yeah, trailers sadly can be a little bit on the laggy side, really. Uh, right, well, I should wait for Speed Beast to get on to the top. Oh, there we go. Right, they are reset. Okay, round one goes to Brazen. We can't let that happen again. We can't let that happen again. We are going to go for now. Do we go faster? Uh, Volt, if you want to give a... Uh, oh, I forgot I was in first. I thought I was in neutral. Uh, yeah, Volt, if you want to do a different uh, suggestion, you are more than welcome to. Uh, Danger Man's absolutely gone for it off the start line. Brazen's also gone, oh, gone for it harder. Oh, okay. We've gathered that back up. There's been accidents behind... Uh, we are across these bumps. So this is a... Oh, Danger Man. It looks like Danger Man has gone for a very big accident. I'm in trouble. Ooh, I'm in lots of trouble. I There just was not quite the grip on the grass that I wanted. And all my wheels are off and splayed and broken. And we are not winning this one. I have made a spinning top. Uh... <laughs> Brazen looks like, sounds like they may have survived. We are out. Um, we are not going anywhere further at this point. Bra Brazen is not a functioning car anymore. Uh, <laughs> Brazen is, is I think, yeah, Brazen will be out, but is sliding. Shadow has got their car under control. Shadow doing a sensible job at the moment. Uh, oh, if we go, oh, I forgot, I forgot to move the chat window. I was going to go and... Have a look for onboard. Oh, Shadow. Oh, Shadow. Shadow was doing a good job. He's going to find the impalement spike. Yeah, Shadow did not go the route you want to go. <laughs> it may... Uh, it's, it might be Brazen. It doesn't have any steering, but if you can bounce it off the wall... Shadow might be able to beat Brazen. It might go further than Brazen, at least. It's... No, that's not... Oh, okay. A little bit of lag. It has shuffled Brazen. Oh, oh, Shadow. If you if Brazen now slides further than you, no, Brazen's come to a rest there. Um, Speed Beast has found the tube. Speed Beast is very dead. Oh, Gliska is still going. So Gliska has a chance to win it. And it looks like they will. Whether that's what functioning or not, the fuel tank's ruptured. That's not great, although it could be a little desync. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, that's... Uh, oh, it's bad. It's a li little bit of lag. It's a bounce over the crater for Gliska. However, it will be a victory for them, nevertheless. Uh, yeah, Gliska will slide about. Brazen is in a tree. Uh, Shadow... Oh, Shadow has got free. How did Shadow get free? I might have found... You 
Might have found reverse and got that car unstuck. Might have been able to do a sort of three-point turn and got that somehow working. I take it back. Shadow has got clear of Gliska. Gliska's now in a pit. Rusky's on the way with a 200BX. Brazen's around a tree. Speed boost we know is dead. Danger Man we saw somewhere up here uh, is oh, stuck on the outside. And Lado found the half pipe. So, yeah, we will. Oh, wait. There is Shadow. Shadow will cross the line. Now, Shadow is the first one to the bottom. The bigger question is, can Rusky's car drive? Because if Rusky's car drives, it's a bare minimum, but it does steer. And I don't think Shadow's works. I have a feeling... I have a feeling Rusky's is much closer to a moving, functioning, and working vehicle. So it will be a Rusky victory on this one. Slow and steady won the race. I should have I should have slowed down a lot more. Um I should have I should have should have done better. Should have slowed down more. And there we go. Well done, Rusky for the victory on that. Where is our car? Yeah. The demon is a mess. Pretty much. Uh, uh, right, Drake, thank you for the donation. Let's say on tonight to fail race. Now, Apollo barks with approval at some tumbling bolides. Uh, Brazen is a total lemon in the ambulance. Po probably given half a chance. Uh, where is it gone? Uh, and you guys better hold it in because we are racing downhill in Pugins. Uh, P.S. Can you remind us where we can get stickers? Of course. Of course. Uh, and the... Royal Mail issues have been fixed on the most part, so we think. Uh, if you go on to the, the, the website, failrace.co.uk, uh, there is Fail Race merch, there are some stickers, and if you manage, if you buy any item of clothing, uh, you get the special Bincident sticker as well. You can't buy it on its own. Uh, you have to, it, it comes with uh, any purchase of clothing. So there we go. It, does, it is all working now. It is all working now on that one. Uh, Lamp, thank you very much for the super chat. I say, what about uh, you couple two cars together at a time? Uh, it doesn't really work. Um, in that they tend to freak out and glitch out, and yeah, <laughs> it, it doesn't. It doesn't tend to. We don't have any of the double-ended cars where you're supposed to be able to do that. And he try and sort of no these ones. It doesn't work. It, it just kind of breaks. Oh, Shadow's going for improved aero with the boot. Uh, now I'm happier with a slightly slower start. I was hoping Brazen was going to make contact with Danger Man and they were both going to have an accident. Oh, Brazen's in trouble. Okay, Brazen's had a massive accident. Lado is helping us have a massive accident. Now, no, 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 no. Ah. Can't land on your wheels. Oh, no. Oh, no, we might be okay. Okay, 200BX, do you still have any kind of drive? Oh, no, you won't. Not with a rear wheel like that. And over we go. God damn it. Well, we, I saw the crashes going on in front of me. So I was like, right, I know what I need to do. I need to calm it down. Because, you know, we stand a good chance here. And Lado turned up. And if Lado wrecks it on their own, I'm going to be very annoyed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what can you do? What can you do when... Uh, Lado has actually made it through. Lado's in a pretty good position with the Wendover. Will... Uh, no, they've not got any... They've got the steering. The steering's gone. Never mind. Crunch. <laughs> There's obviously not much steering left in that to be working. Uh, it has got going, at least. That's something. Gliska is about to slide into the wall and destroy that car. Shadow has carefully done it. And now Shadow is in a very good place for uh, taking a victory here. Lado is going to just send it down that outside uh, once it's on the wall. It's got no steering, so there's there's no cho no chance of being sensible. And there's also kind of no reason at this point. Uh, around the craters, they both go. Now, Shadow is going to be able to get across and get to the middle with a working car. Lado has actually got it turned, to be fair. Uh, Lado has got it turned through there, or just about turned. Shadow, though... Oh. Bit of a bump heading towards the mud. And Shadow is across the line. Lado will come firing down and is going to make it in second. Uh, and I think the rest 
are out. So Shadow with a convincing victory. Speed Beast is upside down and destroyed. Gliska is, well, we saw that car squished and in the wall. Danger Man is a spinning top on the ice. Uh, <laughs> and Impalement Spike, Impalement Spike. Go on, Impalement Spike. Hey, got his first victim of the day. Fantastic stuff. That is what we like to see. Uh, Rusky hit the half pipe hard. And then there's me and Brazen up here. Brazen's still got some life in that. God, that's loud. Uh, yeah. That one did not go particularly well. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lado, you are supposed to slow down, right? You, you do know the whole point of this is you are supposed to slow down at points. Um, you know, the bits where you're trying to get a car under control. Um, as at the end of the day, you still wrecked your own car and Shadow beat you. So, yeah, there are there were better ways to get down the hill, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so, there we go. Uh, Alex Anderson, thank you very much for the donation. I uh, say so I got free for all as long as it's at 0 0.8 power to weight uh, and cars... Uh, not rules apart from Brazen, who needs to use a stock Pugin for being too good at this game. Uh, and for the horrible creations he has made over the years. See, the thing is, power to weight ratio, irrelevant in this. Um, it, it's completely irrelevant. The rules for this that are going to be run whatever the hell you like don't really matter. Um, having power, you can run. I mean, I could have had 700 horsepower, I could have had 200 horsepower. Wouldn't have made much difference uh, to me in terms of in terms of getting down here. This is such a steep and consistent slope. It is much more about uh, trying to uh, survive the bumps. Suspension way more important than power. Way more relevant than power um, in this one. Uh, I'll get my coat. Thank you very much for the donation. I say it's all downhill from here. Well, you're going to get a boo on that one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so if we're taking requests, more than four wheels round. That that we can do. That we can do, and that should be interesting. Um, okay, more than four wheels. I'll allow Julie's, but they aren't the most exciting of options. I'm hoping not too many people are going to go for them. Uh, I mean, technically, technically speaking... You could go... Is there any wacky Crown Vicks? I've not actually seen this mod um, for a long time anyway. No, there's no no funky versions. No way, I did just see there's a diesel Julie. I mean, I know what I'm going to drive um, for this one because it is my favourite. I don't think it's going to be particularly good. Uh, I'll use the 40 Guides build one because... Why not? Uh, so, I mean, it's it's a solid option as vehicles go. It has got sort of off-roady suspension. I have my fears about what it's going to do. Uh, I do have my fears uh, about what is what is going to happen with this one. But it might work. Uh, Beanie, thank you very much for the donation. I uh, say, so would an engineless round work? Just rely on gravity to see how fast slash far you go. Yeah, that would work. That would that would absolutely absolutely work. Um, and on Snake, thank you very much for the donation. Say, so no request this time. Only appreciation for this series. Ah, well, thank you very much. I'm glad. I am glad you uh, you like this series. I enjoy this one. It's always good fun. Uh, Egg, thank you for the donation. Saying, can you do a race from the bottom up and around the impalement spike and back down again? Uh, if not, touring cars, please. I mean, we could, maybe. It just wouldn't be a particularly exciting race. The, the point of this is the downhill bit. Yeah, in theory, you could do that. Uh, you can't go, for those wanting to go down to the bottom and climb back, you can't actually climb up this, this level uh, with the ice nothing gets past that ice section so yeah you can't actually go up i mean yeah, i guess you could i guess you could do that i don't know why also that's not got more than four wheels um so i don't quite know what the plan is there um and then, oh there we go okay i hadn't updated it that is fair enough so me and shadow have gone for a similar idea 
Danger Man has a bus with Julie's. Fair enough. Gliska is playing fast and loose with the rules. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gliska is playing it fast and loose with the rules. It's kind of got a wheel. I probably We probably should have said more than... Oh, oh no, wait. That's me. We should have probably said more than four driven wheels. But... Uh, I'm not that worried about that car, because it's made of jelly, and I suspect it might fall over, or disintegrate, so there is that. Um, uh, stainless steel, thank you very much for the super chat, saying how about uh, something dumb, no tyres, only rims. Um, I mean, if we do that round, it'll only be once, because no one's going to want to deal with that for more than one time down here. Pretty much, it will be horrible, it will... yeah. <laughs> Uh, but we can have a go with it at some point. Uh, have, a, have a no tires rule. I don't know. I guess you just want something. Maybe the Wydra would be quite good, actually. I don't know whether it would. Um, don't know. Maybe there would be a different meta for that. We can have a look at that. That one. But yeah, it probably, probably um, would only be only be wrong because I can't imagine it's going to be very good. Uh, Ch uh, Chimera? I don't know if I pronounced that one correctly. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so I'd like to unofficially congratulate Gliska for winning the inaugural unofficial Fail Race GTA Championship by only one point uh, to yourself, Alex. Danger Man in third also had the most wins and most podiums, and Level 8 had the most fastest laps. Oh, well, there we go. Um, oh, God. That's not what I want to see. Christ. I've actually done GTA. We have, we have, there are a couple of GTA filmed um, filmed races coming out soon. Um, it's like a little break kind of from GTA stuff. But uh, yeah, we have done a couple more a couple more races along the way. I uh, think we are close to being ready with our many wheeled monstrosities here. Um... Right, let's go and load everyone in. Racing Revel, thank you for the super chat, saying dual pigeons, uh, only three-wheel variant. Well, I mean, if you're going to do that, you've got the widget and you've got the three-wheeled cover. We can do three-wheeled cars. I don't know how well it's going to go, but uh, we can do it. Michael the Kiwi, thank you for the donation. I uh, say I'm addicted to brake fluid, but don't worry, because I can stop at any time. Uh, you're going to get a boo from me, and I am sure you are going to get a boo from chat as well. Right, we are off. We are underway. Oh, Brazen. Oh, dear. <laughs> Brazen has just disintegrated over that jump. We are to the lead with the Lobolide. Oh, God, over here now. This is on some form of rally suspension. I'm on rally tyres, so I'm kind of sending it because I'm a little worried about the trucks and the buses. Uh, we run that section quite nicely. Oh, frame rate does not like this section. I have not got control of my vehicle anymore. Okay, over containers. Oh, it's been a little bit crashy. Oh, no, I've lost steering at a critical point. I've got to slow it down more there. I don't have the... Oh, Danger Man has eviscerated the bus on the... Uh, What's it called? On the half pipe. I just, my front wheels just wouldn't go on the ground anymore. Speed Beast has lost wheels. I don't know how many, how much of that is desync. Speed Beast is going way too fast, I suspect, to gather that back up again. Uh, they are going to, oh, Danger Man's going to block the tunnel. Uh, like, it, well, not quite like Impega did. Uh, it was going well for us. So I was going fast because I didn't want to get hit by a truck of some description. Speaking of, there is a, rapidly approaching dump truck that is about to get an almighty amount of airtime. I mean, it's going <laughs> to win! <laughs> Look at it fly! And smash! <laughs> well, it is technically going to win! Lado is across the line as a ball of metal. Well, it, it does vaguely resemble a truck. Lado, unless anybody is somehow... Well, Danger Man's disintegrated. Speed Beast I mean, he's going very slowly. The rest of us are dead. Oh! Impalement Spike has cut Shadow in half. The other Lobolide is gone. That is eliminated. Gliska is on fire upside down and, well, funnily enough, that didn't go so well. 
And Brazen, well, we saw Brazen have a very big flip. Rusky's ramp truck is stuck and on fire. Brazen is a little cube of metal. We didn't get cut in half. I just couldn't get the front wheels back on the ground going over the checkerboard. So we're going to have to slow our car down a lot more for that section. Uh, and there we go. Gliska is still going as a flaming chassis at all manner of angles. I don't quite know how you've managed that one, Gliska. It's honestly quite impressive. And Speed Beast is rolled across the line. Actually, Speed Beast may have a working vehicle. Does it have steering? Is is so I don't think yeah, Speed Beast actually has a working vehicle. Speed Beast will win. It was it was slow, but it has got to the bottom and it has drive now, so I think some desyncs occurred. Um so it doesn't really show up properly. It's de it's not perfect working, but it is turning left and right, drives forward, and Lado's most definitely does not. Uh, <laughs> it was impressive, I will give you that. 10 out of 10 efforts were, were done right there. But yeah, foolish run for me. Could have and should have been way better. Um, yeah, we're going to have to slow that section. Our car didn't like uh, the suspension. Wasn't so happy with dealing with it. Um, it's useful information. My my vehicle is a considerably stripped out version compared to Shadows. Actually, Shadows I'm going to push you with the normal one. This was one that was built for a full guys tournament. Um, it was built to 0 0.2 power to weight ratio, as you can probably guess. Um, so, there we go. Uh, right. Uh, oh, Anonymous? An Anonymous? I don't know how, how quite how... But anyway, saying... Uh, thank you oh, thank you for the super chat. Saying, request a more than four wheels round. You've tuned in at a right point. We've got a more than four wheels round going on currently. Uh, also, I got GTA because of you silly people. Ah, well, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad to encourage people to buy games. GTA doesn't normally need much encouraging. Uh, other games, uh, it's always nice to hear when people have found games they like um, from, watching, uh, from watching my videos and, and our shenanigans and so on. Uh, it's not normally GTA that the one that people discover, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take anything um, that people fancy try from watching fail race videos. So you see, yeah, I want to get far away from the trucks because I'm worried about what they're going to do. Yep, definitely worried about what that one there's about to do. Oh, for God's sake, Lado, I just want to be able to play my own pissing game. Uh, we literally said at the start, no being a dick and going for a torpedo. I tried to get away from the truck, but yeah. Oh well, I guess I'm not allowed to, to try and, and do anything on this one. I probably should have just waited and let Lado wreck it, but uh, I figured last time we could get far enough away that I could get to a point where I could get off to the side. Uh, but no, no is the answer to that. Do I still have some drive? No, I don't. Wondered if I had a, a wheel axle at the back there. Um, uh, so there we go. Uh, we will spin around. We will well, technically go further than Lado's. If everyone else wrecks, we technically win. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're relying on everyone else having a wreck, which Shadow, we're, Shadow will be fine. Shadow will do it. Um, no, no, no. I guess, yeah, well, I say we should probably have... Um, I say we should have probably have just stopped. It's, everyone's, everyone's had a massive crash uh, so far. And yeah, Shadow will win by virtue of being the only one that wasn't really involved. Although, does Shadow look damaged? No, oh, no, Shadow's just taking it easy. Don't really need to. Oh, Wheel's going to overtake Shadow at this point. Um, what is that? Oh, that's the bit of the truck. Oh, probably not the bit of the truck you wanted to hit there, if I'm honest. Oh, bit of the truck ended up in there. I don't know, although it might not be synced, of course. So, bit, there's a bit of a fuel tank and there is a bit of a front end from the dump truck, yeah. I mean, Shadow will make it. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, it's good to know that the Lebolide is pretty good. Uh, I mean, it is. It's, it's pretty solid. Um, in, in terms of an option, you know, we went for the getaway at the start. And yeah, it, that, was, that was not the way to... Not the way to go. Oh, well done, Shadow. Uh, 
Yeah, it's, uh, like, uh, it's, there's almost no point of setting off at the... Well, I say that. If you don't go at the start, someone, you know, someone's going to... Someone's going to make it. I don't think Brazen's has the control. I don't think Gliska's has the control. I don't think the trucks have the control. Um, the Stambeco, maybe not. Uh, I think probably... It's probably mostly between me and Shadow, unless anything really weird happens. I'm going to... I'm going to guess at this point. Um, but yeah. All right. We will. We will set them on the way. So I'm going to go for a different tactic here. My goal is basically just beat Shadow. Um, it's all it is is going to be. It, when I say that, oh, Gliska's brakes look horrible. <laughs> Gliska's car is made of jelly and nothing else. Right, go on, truck. Go past, don't care, you're not important in this. Uh, Brazen has flipped, as expected, really. Brazen's vehicle has let go. Oh, mine does not like this section. It gets tipped about really awkwardly through there, uh, which isn't great. Now, we could... So the rocks I've got to be really super careful over, because we know the front end of this doesn't like bumps. Oh, well, the whole of it doesn't actually like bumps particularly. Lado has got onto the half pipe. Now, the dump truck, so the thing is, oh god, it's just a grip. Danger Man has blocked off one of the tunnels. Uh, Speed Beast is through there. I have not got the grip to go the way that I want to go. Lado's wrecked it. Uh oh. Okay, no, we're going down here. Uh, no. Well, we've lost a drive shaft. Have we lost all of the drive? I couldn't. I So my tyres are the wrong choice for this. There's just no grip in my car. Have I lost all drive? I don't know. I might have some drive. Uh, Alright, come on. Come on, Lebolide. We are going to absolutely launch it past a dump truck. Oh! I know, fuel tank's gone. I don't know if we live. Oh, no, we don't live. We don't live, but we cross the line first. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if we did, because Lado booted it as well. Uh, we technically have a drive, we, like, a, a bit of it drives, just it doesn't move. We still like, amazingly have steering. It's almost drivable, it's just the chassis's too bent. Shadow has got it um, going again. Shadow's had an accident, although Shadow might get that stuck in the mud if something goes on. Um, I don't know if Shadow... Oh, Shadow has dug it out. Oh, well, it's, it's had a smash. It looks like um, Shadow is going to limp it across the line. Oh, wheel! <laughs> Whose was that? <laughs> that was a hell of a shot. That was, that was 10 out of 10. Whoever's wheel that was smashed the back of my car. Um... It's Shadow Winds, regardless of uh, which one of us, me or Lado, actually got down there in time. Shadow still has a driving car, neither mine nor... Lado. Mine's close to driving, uh, but not not quite. Um, it's astonishing that it still has functioning steering and a wheel that tries to drive, considering uh, the amount of flips that did at the end. There's the ball of brazen. Um, there's Danger Man up here with a crumpled bus. Uh, and the others have reset. So Shadow, I mean, yeah, the Lebolide was the way to go in that round. Uh, they were surprisingly good. Uh, Vault, thank you very much for the Super Chats. If not the trailers, how about something on the other end of the scale? A round full of Piccolinas or smaller vehicles. Now that we can do. That we absolutely can do. And we will do that round now. Uh, as your Super Chat was from a while, uh, first Super Chat was from a little while ago. Okay, so... Tiny cars round. So, Piccolinas, Mini... Mini Lina? Mini Lina? Yep, we've got that here. Piccolina, Mini Lina, Pigeon, Widgeon, Chizé. Those are your options. Um, God knows what I want to use. Uh, the Chizé is... Uh, whatever you use is going to fall apart. Oh, and I'm going to say you're not allowed the... Um, Baja version. You're not allowed the buggy, the Baja buggy 
version. You are allowed that version, but you're not allowed like the claw, like the, the actual full-on buggies. That's not really a Picolina at that point. Um, so there we go. Um, uh, I'm thinking like a Rally Chise is the way to go. I mean, I think it's likely to fall over. But I think everything is likely to fall over. Like, there is... Um, none of these are going to be the most stable option. Oh, Amy's woken up because there was mention of a Piccolina. Uh, yeah, little bit. I mean, Brazen could still run with that contraption if they wanted. I don't think they will. No more Julie's on a Piccolina. Um, all right, let's go and reset. I'm just going to have a drink while we get everything loaded and we will see what we're going to be up against. Ah. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Danger Man has gone a route. Shadow's gone the wrong route. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alex Anderson, thank you very much for the uh, donation. If my last request wasn't as uh, necessary in the series, then supercars, apart from Brazen, with three-wheeled pooing. I, I suspect that's supposed to be Poojin, and you've auto-corrected it, maybe. Um, you know what you've done. Okay, well, we know what we got. Brazen's going to have a tough round there. Uh, Paul, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, sorry, my game was doing something weird. Uh, yes, Paul, thank you very much. I thought it was doing something weird. Thank you very much. So I asked my dad if we're a, a family of pyromaniacs. He said, yes, arson. <laughs> that's going to be a boo to you from me. Definitely, and from chat. Uh, A-Rod, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, did you know, in the 1400s, one car became the most feared in all of Eastern Europe. Many people trembled at the name of Vlad the Impala. You are getting a boo as well. You are getting a boo from me, and I am sure from chat. Uh, Connor, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, got, got a long drive tonight from Dover to Inverness. So... It, so, so in the thought, so in in the thought of UK, is it possible to do a full all British round? Uh, I don't actually know if there are any British cars in the game. I don't think any of the manufacturers are like pretend British, as far as I'm aware. Um, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know whether we can sort. We don't. We don't have any mods for them. Uh, doesn't even have a. Yeah, I mean, we have brands. Uh, yeah, I get... I, I, like, I don't, I don't see any of them as being British anyway, really. Uh, I mean, it's because they're, they're all Japanese. Yeah, there, there are some mods for some British cars, but we don't have them, I'm afraid. I mean, I guess that's kind of closer to a, a, a minivan, but that's the Chrysler, like, Grand Voyager-style thing. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately, I'd love to, but there is no British um, vehicles, British brands in the game that we have here. Uh, we've got a couple of four-wheeled, we've got four-wheeled pigeon, four-wheeled widgeon. Uh, we have Danger Man. Uh, no, sorry, we have Lado in the uh, three-wheeled Covert. Brazen's got a monster truck, Piccolina. Um, oh, the widgeon might be British, actually. Yeah, that's a good point, because that's supposed to be like the Bond bug thing. That might be the closest um, we get. Rusky's in the lawnmower. I don't even know what to call it. Steam roller. The what's left of a pigeon. Brazen. Brazen, why is your... Hold on. Can somebody... Brazen, why is your oil cooler out there? And the rest of your car not? I mean, Shadow has a sensible Piccolina. So me and Gliscott just says... Um... Let's go and see what happens, really. Um, <laughs> let's let's give it a go. Let's find out as we will launch this lot underway. All right. We will fire our car off the line quite quickly. Uh, I'm going for the I want to get out of the way of everything. Oh, no. Bouncing. Bouncing's bad. Bouncing's bad. Oh, the big... The, the, the speed bumps. 
Wow, I'm in trouble. We may survive that. It's not the worst hit we could have had. Land on your wheels. Oh, now it's bad. Uh, okay, the rear axle's at a funny angle. Please be front wheel drive. Ah. I mean, it might. Okay, you've got one wheel left. But it is still driving on that one wheel, I think. Um, rear left axle broken. Rear, well, you know, I don't have any rear wheels left on my car. I have steering and I think I have drive on the one wheel that is still on my car. I just, it doesn't, it would, I would like, oh, never mind. I've lost all four wheels have come off. Lado's come past as a bit of metal. Shadow is playing it sensibly and is currently winning uh, quite well. Jose has had a problem. Oh, we were still going, and I think we're going to stop here. Hello, Brazen. <laughs> oh, Danger Man Ball of Metal. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a wheel. Might be one of mine. Danger Man's in the half pipe. Uh, Gliska has also flipped the Chizé. Ruskies is destroyed. Speed Beast is miles back. Lados, well, we saw Lados was in pieces. So, Lados had... Oh, no, Shadows had an issue? Lados had done a jump. Oh, and clonked over. Uh, what even is Lados? Oh, Lados is the cover. The three-wheel cover. Minus the wheel, but it's still going. That's something. Shadow is... Again, by virtue of being sensible, is going to do it. I didn't even think I was being that. Like, I wasn't. Well, I was quick off the lot. I, I was quick. I wanted to get out front early on. I just I couldn't slow the car down in time. So that is the difficulty. This course here is more difficult than the other downhill one we do in some ways. Because this is a constant gradient. If you, if you shoot off too fast... You cannot slow it down. You you really can't get it slowed down under control. Or you can't do it easily, especially not with these cars. Especially not with these cars. Um, does Shadow have any drive? They do. I mean, not that it matters because no one else is close. Shadow is victorious. Everybody else is pretty much a ball of metal at this point. Danger Man. There is Brazen. Uh, well, we saw Ruskies. Well, Ruskies a ball of wheels. Shadow with some celebratory donuts. Speed Beast disintegrated. Uh, and Gliska. Oh, it's got going again. I don't know if that's under their own power. Possibly. Is it heading towards an impalement spike? It's not. Uh, it might make it onto the middle part. Doesn't look like it's got great steering. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Gliska, this is looking bad for you. It's looking like it's going to splat into a wall. Oh, you rolled over it, you lucky bugger. It's going to be second place, I think, for Gliska. Oh, that's a big hit on a tree. Does it have any drive? I'm going to go with... No. I'm going to go with a no. It doesn't have any drive left on that one. Good effort, though. Good effort. Uh, we will reset our vehicle back to the top. Okay, so. We need to not crash. We need to not roll. We need to not fall apart. Uh, we know the difficulties of this one. We know we know what this car's not going to like to do. Uh, at the end of the day, if we don't have a crash, we were miles ahead of Shadow. We just didn't slow it down in time. Um, Drake, thank you for the donation. I'm saying, what's the difference between a poojin and a pigeon? One doesn't mind taking a dump, and the other is a poojin. You're going to get a boo from me, most definitely. Maybe from chat, probably from chat as well. Uh, and Anthony Kafka, I don't, get, don't know if I pronounced that one correct, but thank you for the donation. I'm uh, saying, how about a scramble descent? I uh, don't know what you mean by that. Um... Yeah, sorry, I, I, I don't quite know what you mean on that one. Um, Petrolhead, thank you for Super Chat, by the way. Uh, so, go, go as mad, as crazy as you as you want round. is un unlimited. Big wheels, small wheels, anything you want in the last wreck picks the next round. Uh, oh, God. Uh, that sounds dangerous. That sounds dangerous, indeed. Uh, we can potentially do that at some point, but some, somehow make that work. Um, 
Right. Let's get this net. Oh, game. Come back. Here we go. Everyone up here. They are. Uh, we will begin. Right. Here we go. Now, I want to get clear of everyone again. I feel like in some ways it's the way to go. Although maybe we've gone too fast too soon. Oh, it's the bouncing. The rear end is so unstable through there. So Lado's just gone for it. Oh, for God's sake, really? <laughs> really? That was just uncalled for. I wasn't even going quickly, and it's just flipped. If we could somehow land on a... No. No, we've lost all of our wheels again. Is it going... Yep, it's lost all four wheels again. What have they made the rally car out of? It's really not... It's just got to be super slow to do it. I, I see, I thought rally car would be able to deal with a little bit of a bump here and there, but no, rally car's... That's awful. It's just going to have to be dead slow. It's going to be the only way to do it. Lado's fallen Ooh. over. Hasn't disintegrated. Um, surprise... Oh. Well, I don't know if that was some lag, some some desync. It did look like it just spat its fuel tank out. Brazen's had an accident. Shadow is still going the easy does it approach. Speed Beast has gone sideways across the oh across the checkerboard and fallen apart. Shadow's had an accident. Shadow has had a big crash, although it's still going. Gliska with a considerable lead, but you don't want to jump down there, Gliska. No, didn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so Glitch has never played this map before. Uh, probably didn't know you you really have to go down the side bits of the ice. It's a great parking job, though. Excellently parked. It might land back on its wheels. It's not going to carry on, but it is there. Lado is still rolling. Somehow that's still got the giant wheel at the back of it. I mean, it might still be okay. Somehow. It doesn't really look like it's okay, but yeah. Uh, Shadow, we saw Shadow had a big crash, but it is still going. Don't know how well that's still going. Everyone else, I think, is eliminated. Uh, two on the oh, Speed Beast ended up straight into the half pipe. Rusky didn't make it too far either. Danger Man also had trouble with the which I say that I didn't make it that far. Um... It looks like, well, Lado is still rolling. <laughs> Lado is still rolling and shedding bits of car. I mean, it might actually stop rolling. Does it still drive? Surely that cannot have any drive left on that rear wheel. Or the engine's dead. No, the engine's alive, but there doesn't seem to be any drive in it. I mean, Shadow's car didn't seem very healthy when we last saw it. It may get stuck in the mud. Oh. It is struggling in the mud, and it has now spun. I think Shadow's got some steering damage. I think Shadow may... Oh, no, no. It's, it's freed itself. Reversing has dragged it out. There is a weird race going on here between Shadow and Lado. Oh, there is a crash. However, Shadow will win. And I do think Shadow's car is somewhat more drivable than Lado's. Although, well done to Lado for getting that to the bottom. Not quite working, but it got to the bottom amazingly without losing the rear wheel. The Piccolina is victorious once again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Shadow won while helping Lado finish. <laughs> Uh, all right. I, I mean, I know what I have. To, I know what I have to do with this. We re we just cannot take any speed in this car. Uh, it cannot get any airtime. Um, it will. It, it just falls over, and once it falls over, the wheels ping off randomly. So yeah, that is not great. Let's go and give it another try. Let's see what happens with our Chazé. Now, I'm not too worried about Brazen's vehicle. I feel like Brazen's is going to fall apart. 
Uh, my goal is a simple goal of finish with this Chazé. Lado's not had as good of a run. Okay, let's get this car under control. It's going to bounce a little bit here. That's fine. A little... Oh, no, no, that's too much. That's too much. Shadow's going through the pit. That's a new line. No, don't normally get away with that one. Please, brakes, don't fail me now. Oh, we're over these little ridges. No, car. Okay, we lost a tyre. Can live with that. Can live with a tyre failure. Oh, it's wandering something horrible. Shadow is catching up. Uh... Oh, no. Avoid the rock. Avoid the rock. Or we'll, we'll very slowly go over them. That also works. Uh, okay, still, I heard a crunch. I'm hearing crunches behind me. That's Shadow. Uh, suck. Ooh, over there. Brazen is clear, but Brazen has flipped. Shadow has got through. Shadow is in front of us. No, stop it. Shazay. Okay, little jump there was fine. Radiator's leaking. Not a problem. This bit could be a problem. Shadow has spun in front of us uh, and is now rolling and will recover that one. Lado is still flailing about. Brazen is... Oh, you see, the problem I've got now is Brazen is clear up ahead. Uh, oh. Oh, God. Okay, we're on the ice. I have very little control down here. We have just kind of lifted off the brakes for most of this. Oh, I, my steering is a problem. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I just don't have full steering anymore. This car is the most sensitive thing I've ever driven on this challenge. It's terrible. This is absolutely garbage. This was the worst selection I've ever done, I think, for this. Okay. We're going to try and get it against the wall. At some point, I'm going to have to try and fire it left. Uh, I do have... The one front wheel that is left is working, at least. Steering is still working. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so bad. Another wheel's come off. Yeah, this is an absolute garbage car. I, was, I had to go for it to try and catch Brazen, but Brazen, I think, had already won anyway. This is, yeah, absolutely useless in terms of survivability. We might roll fast enough to the point where... Oh, no, it's going to dig in and stop. Nah. What a complete piece of crap. <laughs> that Chazé is absolutely useless down here. Um, yeah, it, it, it took the littlest bump and it broke the steering to the point where it's undrivable. It's uncontrollable. Admittedly, we could have gone slower, but if we'd gone slower, Brazen would have won anyway. So, yeah. Um... The, the, the speed we would have had to gone at to make it would be so slow. Um, that, yeah, what's, so what's, what's the point, really? Gliska's one actually seems to have stronger wheels. I think maybe the rally suspension isn't good. Um, I think the rally suspension makes the wheels weaker on that car than it does on the normal one, because Gliska's is getting down here with all the wheels still attached. So maybe the rally suspension is actually a problem, basically. Um... But there we go. Brazen is a victorious in this one. With, well, Piccolina's won all rounds. Different different spec ones, but Piccolina's uh, won all rounds. Gliska gets a stronger Chizé uh, to the bottom. And there we go. Danger Man has got a widgeon onto the sand. I don't know if he's got busted steering. By the looks of it, possibly a little bit. Uh, and now we're into the mud pit. Oh, it's fallen over. <laughs> oh, no. It's righted. No, it's still got drive. It can dig itself out. And there we go. The widgeon has rolled itself across the line, but it made it. Uh, well, there we go. I will be incredibly grateful to do that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to remove that car from existence. It's absolutely garbage. That is one of the worst cars I've ever driven in one of these. Um, by astonishingly high margins. So there we go. Um, Chris, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying the Senna... The Senna has what McLaren call a track-focused water bottle. Uh, like a racing car, it's designed to keep you hydrated on the track. However, this water bottle costs £6,700. Dear God. Uh, <laughs> doesn't surprise me. 
It doesn't surprise me at all, but it does at the same time. Considering they struggled to sell all the centers, do you reckon they sold many of the water bottles? I'm gonna guess probably not. Sorry, I'm gonna drink again. Uh, Tuppence, thank you very much for the donation. I say thanks for the endless enjoyment. Uh, I've never donated to a YouTube channel, but I'm constantly amazed how you can participate and commentate at the same time. Ah, oh, well, thank you very much. I, I'm glad to hear you're enjoying the videos, enjoying the, the series, the streams, etc. Um, I get that. See, I get that comment a, f a few times, and to me, it's normal. To me, it's. I, I guess I've just done it so so much now that it just becomes almost second nature. I find myself, uh, like today, I, I don't have much time, but I was playing a game, Jagged Alliance 3, I was playing. It's a fun strategy, and I actually quite like it. Um, and I find myself, like, even when I'm just sat playing it here, not not probably not ever going to do videos on it, doubt I, I might stream it, but unlikely. Like, I still sit here and am, like, instinctively running through what I would be doing if I was commentating. Like, I've done it so much now, it's just ingrained. Um, so, yeah. Uh, FIA Stewards, thank you, Nation. Uh, saying, a, a walled ride penalty, Alex, must now use a pigeon. I used a garbage car. <laughs> so, stuff it, no. Um... Right, what have we got? Ah, yes, okay, so this next round. This next round is an engineless round. No engine. You can run whatever you like. However, it cannot have an engine. So you can, we're going to have to no grab the cars a little further forward and have them sit on the handbrake. Uh, what the hell do you want? So, you see, the difficulty with this is, as I say, difficulty. Any speed you take out by using the brakes, you cannot regain. I mean, you will gain. You basically, your acceleration is constant uh, because, well, you know, gravity. And any braking you do is going to hinder that acceleration. But you're, you, I mean, you can. You can definitely do this with minimal braking, but it is tough. I feel like a hopper's not a terrible shout. Uh, they're quite strong. Now, they could- someone could- someone could try, um, to run a truck, someone could run a bus, though they could run those, although you're going to have issues surviving the run, even if you ignore other vehicles around. Um, uh, we don't have any glider car mods sound. I like your thinking, but yeah, we don't have any gliders on uh, for this one. Um, I, I mean, locking the diffs is not going to matter, because no driving. So, like, for this, because it's, it's going to be a whole... Um, no engine. The driving aspect doesn't come into effect anymore. So the, the whole has to be driving at the bottom is irrelevant because the car's never going to drive anyway. So yeah, that part is, is less important. Um, Alright, I am just going to make sure. If I release the handbrake, yep, that, that rolls there. Uh, okay. So that can sit on there. Uh, I can well, I can put it back if it will roll from sooner. Uh, does it roll from up here? Okay, yeah, it does actually roll from up there. That's fine. Uh, it's all good. Um, uh, Anthony Kafka, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, oh, scramble all parts slash scramble mod slash randomize all parts. Uh, sadly, we do not. Well, we don't have that mod installed on the server for this evening. Uh, also, would love to see what... See that on Flood the Race slash Race the Flood. Uh, good luck. Uh, also, you got the last name uh, right last time. Hey! Well, that's good. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have that mod installed on the server, but uh, if we can... It's, it's sometimes a little bit of a faff uh, to get it. It's, sometimes it scrambles completely terrible stuff, uh, but yeah... Randomized cars, a form of randomization, maybe slightly less broken than the forms we've had before. Uh, could be quite fun for a, a flood the race or something along the lines. Um, 
Chris, thank you very much for the donation with more random car facts for us. So when you took the livery of your brand new Ferrari F50, you were given a pair of shoes. But strangely, in order to drive away, you were ordered to put the shoes on. Otherwise, Ferrari couldn't leave. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Ferrari are weird. Uh, <laughs> Ferrari are weird about stuff like that. Um, yeah, does not surprise me at all. Um, Oh, the glambulance is here. We knew it would make an appearance at some point. It's happened. Oh, the glambulance is a bit too close. Right. Let's have a look at what we have got. Shadow has a chariot. Brazen has a glambulance. Speed Beast has a Crown Vic. Gliska has a Lansdale. Danger Man has a safety car. Actually, no. Danger Man has a race car with police lights. Lado has a dump truck and Rusky's probably having issues loading, I'm going to guess. Um, so, there we go. In fact, we can have a nose look. There is... Oh, oh, okay, maybe... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold uh, on. Wait, slow down the camera. There we go. There is no engine in there. There is no engine in the glambulance. Uh, there is no engine in the hopper. There is no engine in the Crown Vic. There is... Well, you can see through the truck. We can just fly fly through. It's like we're looking at a tiny, tiny camera drone. Through the truck and into the Wendover. There is no engine there. Uh, Rusky is, I think, having game issues. We're going to... Uh, oh, oh, God. I Okay, apparently me typing in there uh, releases my handbrake, but never mind. We are off. Now, the Glambulance is off to an early lead. Do hit. You know what? I'm going to let the dump truck go first. I'm happy to go a little bit slower. I mean, I'm half expecting the dump truck to murder the Glambulance here. Nope, it's actually going to go in front of the Glambulance. I'm going to slow down a little bit more. Oh, that's a clonk. Oh, my game's frozen. Oh, we've been lag obliterated by danger. Well, that's nothing either of us could have done on that one. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, man of danger. Uh, game of lag killed us on that. <laughs> oh. I think we might be broken. I mean, the yeah. We had an okay start. It wasn't the, you know... Was it, there was anything really bad so much about it, but that was the, just the worst. The worst moment to lag. In the worst place to lag. Because, yeah, nothing Danger Man can do about that, because you don't know where my car's going to appear. Nothing I can do about that, because the game just had it, or the game slash server just had a little freeze. So yeah, me, Danger Man are out. Speed Beast has recovered, has, re has sort of spun it around. Chris has gone for a roll. Shadow has again made it through with the Chariot. Uh, Lado and Brazen are eliminated. See, my goal was be slightly slower than those two. Let them cause a mess, and we would be okay. Shadow's going to win. Admittedly helped massively by me and Danger Man being wiped out by forces outside of our control. Uh, Gliska is going to hit the Impalement Spike. Ooh. Yep. That's an Impalement right there. <laughs> Shadow has slowed it down and is... Uh, I mean, is again going to take a victory... Oh, Speedbeast has actually got through that mess. Yeah, so Speedbeast has got it through. Me and Danger Man just got screwed uh, in that. Speedbeast is still going with the Crown Vic. Might be able to get that into second. Um, although it is going down probably not where they want to. Uh, is sliding towards the Impalement Spike. Oh! Might still manage to get away if you're very lucky. Uh, it looks like it's crabbing horrifically. Oh, pff, hit another thing quite bad and now has been defeated. Um, so, there we go. Oh, well, I mean, uh, we ignore Rusky. Shadow is across the line. Good work. Well done, Shadow. Um... It was an absolutely ridiculous lag spike right there. It was just the worst time. That lag spike happened at any other point. Any other bit of the circuit, we might have got away from it. Uh, <laughs> but no, it was on the narrow part where we were both aiming for and my car just stopped 
dead. And yeah, that was very unfortunate. That <laughs> was so unfortunate that it wiped us both out. Uh, Mark Falconer, thank you very much for the super chat. Saying downhill racing, uh, a, a wild, a wild chase speeding fast. Each driver finds their their place, but it's luck may betray and they'll shout no way uh, crashing down the slope it's a fail race that's a pretty damn pretty damn good limerick there we go uh so the super chat does not for a second i didn't quite figure out what it was because the super chat doesn't format it the same way streamlabs does uh but there we go right um let's try and oh what is going on there Let's try and not get lag murdered in this. Um, that would be that would be good. Uh, Ferrari strategist, thank you very much for the donation. I uh, say, hello, Alex. This is your strategist, Bob speaking. We we got to have you pit for full wets. After all, we are on plan R A R A D. Ignore the plans we sent you for A through R A C. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> it is the Ferrari master plan right here. Um, right here we go. Oh car. Uh, Alright, here we go. I don't know what's happening over there with a dump truck and a brazen. That doesn't look very promising, does it? It doesn't look great. Now, no more massive lag spikes, please. We go. So we can go a little bit far. I feel like we've got better suspension. Oh, no. Maybe it's just slowing down. Now, there is a limited amount of braking that I can do. Because, uh, you know, every I don't have great tyres. And at the end of the day, everything is wanting to pick up speed down here because, well, gravity and all that. Uh, please, oh my god, I don't want cars following me because I want to go a lot slower down here than I suspect most of them. Speed Beast is over the rocks quite well. Uh, over this next section we go. Well, we are committed to going this way. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, well, we have killed a Speed Beast. Yeah, I didn't expect Speed Beast to be going left at that point, if I'm honest. I expected Speed Beast to go through the middle. They did not. Uh, now, my brakes will be for nothing on here. I think my brakes are just going to overheat at this point. My steering's not great, but we are through the worst of this. I've got no way of slowing down. I am pretty much on the... Okay, now we are starting to slow down a little bit here. That's good. Ooh, it's a little bumpy. Now, get to the centre, Hopper. Uh, I'm going to have to release the brakes because... Oh, no. Oh, dear. D damn it. Okay, that was not the side we wanted to go down. It was the side that we were just put on by, you know... <laughs> uh, the, 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 the run, if you will, left us on that side. We are going to roll on our roof... Across the line. Almost across the line. No, come on. Uh, yes, we are across the line. Just ahead of Speed Beast. The world's dumbest photo finish would have occurred there. <laughs> uh, I mean, neither of us have any steering left. and I don't think anyone else is making it. But we have actually had a good run for once. Uh, we did a good job of murdering Speed Beast at that point. Um, Lado's actually... well. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Lado shed everything. <laughs> Lado's debris. <laughs> there are more bits of Lado's truck crossing the finish line. Oh, and good shot. Managed to hit both of us. And there's a fuel tank. How many parts is Lado's truck in at this stage? That's fantastic. I mean, not for Lado, but for the spectacle. That was astonishing. Shadow, are you in a tree? Shadow's in a tree and Shadow is eliminated. Gliska is in a tree upside down. Uh, Rusky has spun. And he's continuing to spin. Danger Man is on the half pipe, as is Brazen. Ooh, the Glambulance has had a bad day. Yeah. The Glambulance is... Oh. Who is that from? I'm going to guess Lado at this point. Uh, did Rusky... Oh, Rusky has stopped. Rusky is in a pit. And there we go. That is the end of that. Ah, oh, the Hopper did a good thing. <laughs> it actually, finally, finally the Hopper came good. The plan worked. It didn't quite go the way I wanted. I didn't quite go the route I wanted to. 
Uh, definitely didn't want to end up going down that left-hand side. That left-hand side is quite awkward to, to go down. As you saw why, because the, the ending part is slightly more difficult. Uh, or trying to get past the, the potholes and through the sand dunes. Uh, it is difficult. This truck, this vehicle is just not great. And I was probably going too fast at that point. Uh, we, I just couldn't get it to slow down. Uh, that, was, that was the big issue, is, is trying to slow the thing down. Um, it doesn't have strong enough brakes. Well, I say that in terms of... It doesn't have it doesn't have strong enough brakes for the speed that we were trying to go because I didn't want to slow it down more because if I slowed it down more, you know, we can't pick up that speed again very easily. Or it takes a lot longer to accelerate. So yeah. I feel like we might be better off going slower. Possibly. To try and get that control. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't quite know what's going on up here. You know, we're just going to do a countdown and see. I mean, it's not the most even of starts, but honestly, it's not the most significant thing. Um, sorry, brazen. <laughs> there was an idiot Crown Vic in the way. Uh, right. We will... I will be happy to follow Lado to a degree down here. I mean, I don't really want to be trying to overtake the dump truck here. I'm frantically trying to slow it down because I don't want to go side by side with the dump truck. Oh, okay. Well, dump truck did slow us down. Well, we've hit the glass. It's been very difficult, and we've had a real fight, but we have got this under control now. Uh, we are not heading a direction that I want to be going in, and I'm frantically, desperately trying to slow this down. We have got it slower. Right, we need to slow it down a bit more than this. Speed Beast is wrecked, and I'm pretty sure is now out of contention. Uh, the Okay, I'm going to go for... Oh, going for the middle section. Brazen hit the half pipe and has disintegrated. Lado is actually doing quite well with a dump truck, but doesn't get it on the side part, which leads to a very big flip. Massive wreck for Lado. I've got to try and get my vehicle under control. Now, the thing I've got to be wary is Lado is not going to be able to slow that down, although I think it's going to hit a jump. I also cannot slow down. I am desperately trying to... Please slow down. Thank you, Hopper. Thank you, Hopper. Oh. Okay, slow down, slow down. Uh, now change direction. No, you've not got much grip out here. Oh, in the sand, but you have got good enough suspension to ride it out. It's going to be a very, very nice run for us here. I can't get much better than that, really. There's a slight ding in the front bumper. There is a slight ding in the front bumper, but that's about it. A little ding in the rear bumper as well. That's about it. That's about it. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it. Shadow has flipped. Yeah, couldn't have done that one much better. Um, ah, yeah, Glasgow had smoke issues. That is something that does happen with a lot of vehicles trying to frantically slow down. Shadow might make it across the line, but it's going to be a ball of metal. Uh, for the chariot. <laughs> and it is. It's across the line at least. Just. Oh, and then uh, Lado turns up as well. I mean, it, uh, Lado did a great run. It was actually. I had to push it a bit uh, because Lado did have a good run. It was just the dump truck didn't steer away from the ice. That was the problem part for it. And if it had. Even if it had steered away from the ice, I think the brakes was shot on it, and it wouldn't have been able to have gone down the side. I wouldn't have been able to slow down uh, down the side of the craters, and then it would have just launched over one of the sand dunes. I mean, it would have been spectacular, but it, God knows where it would have gone by the end of that. Rusky may well make it with a 200BX if that doesn't beach itself. Speed Beast is stuck. Brazen's Glambulance didn't have a great day. Danger Man hit the tube, and Gliska hit the half pipe. Yeah, I'm going to guess Gliska could not see through the smoke of vehicles trying to slow down. Could be a little bit of lag as well. Sometimes does happen. Um, you get sort of a bit of laggy tyre smoke going on. That makes life difficult. Rusky's made it across the line, though. So, well done to them. Okay. Well, the engineless round was quite an interesting one. 
The Hopper was a good shout. <laughs> Pretty much. I made a good call on this one. I'm happy with, yeah, I'm happy with that vehicle. That worked very well indeed. Um, right, what do we have next? Ah, yes, okay, so... <laughs> next round. Everyone is in supercars. Admittedly, we only really have two to choose from. I know if you have three. SBR4, Bolide, and Scintilla. And Brazen... Brazen has to be in a three-wheeled Pujin. So, yeah. Uh, Brazen, you can blame Alex Anderson for this one. I'm okay with this plan. Honestly, Brazen may well find a way to win. Uh, <laughs> so, supercars, Bolide, Scintilla, or SBR4. Brazen has to do it in a Pujin. If Brazen doesn't... Like, if Brazen beats anyone... In some ways, I'm more worried about losing to Brazen than I am about winning the rounds. Uh, <laughs> now, personally, the cheaty way would be to go for the off-road scintilla. Actually, I'm going to ban the off-road scintilla. Just, you're not allowed the off-road scintilla. Um, this is a little bit close to a cheaty way. Um, the, the, the rally, the rally bolide. Although, the SBR4 is all-wheel drive, which may be more helpful, um down here. Is the, I don't think there's a rally spec SBR4, but I do think SBR4 is going to be the way to go. Hmm, maybe. Maybe that's the way to go. A basic electric SBR4. Why not be such a terrible idea? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Now, it is, it is more than possible to get over the obstacles with these cars. You've just got to be slow. You've got to be careful. And this is where the risk versus the reward is really going to play. And this is where Shadow is going to win. Because we're not going to have patience. <laughs> we're all going to go too fast and shatter uh, all we'll, uh, our supercars on rocks and stuff. Well, I'm saying this. I'm going to try and avoid doing it. Ah, it seems like we might have more than one in the Pujin. Brazen has decided to go for... Oh, Gliska has decided to join Brazen in a Pujin. Uh, so, Shadow has a bolide. If, there, if we haven't got some bolides cut in half, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be sad on that one. Um, uh, Speavis has a case of, I presume, a very fast K-series. Uh, I mean, screw it. Yeah, go for it. It's kind of close enough. I guess, like, the... Mm. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, <laughs> for, for some variety, I am I am okay with that. Um, so, me and Lado have had similar ideas. We've both got electric SBR4s. I think Lado may have a faster one. But, like, speed's just so little of a concern um, for me in this. <laughs> Uh, no, sorry. gliska has got the electric SBR4. lado has got the Lebo light, which is... I mean, we saw that it's quite good. It will have a little bit more ground clearance, but it does have its weaknesses. It, it, it hates bumps. I think it hates bumps more than, like, this thing will. Danger Man is in a Scintilla. Sorry, I can wander and have a look at what uh, Scintilla they're in. So, Scintillas can be very fast. Oh, I've got to turn off traction control. Because... That is, it's not going to enjoy life. Also, what's the fun in having traction control? Much more fun to be able to spin around like a lunatic. Does it, oh, this is a rear-wheel drive one. Oh, okay. I don't, I, okay, I, for some reason, I say, for, I say, I, I know I said single motor. I just assumed that it was still um, all-wheel drive. I guess single motor, like, it would power just the rear axle. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I just... Yeah, okay. I do want an all-wheel drive one. Mid-model dual motor. Yeah, that's... That's the one that I want, then. I do want all-wheel drive, just in case we lose a wheel, or we lose part... We lose a motor, we lose something significant. Uh, that's more like it. <laughs> the best chance we're going to get, I think, is with the all-wheel drive one. Okay. So, we are mostly ready 
Shadow's gone Bolide. Speed Beast has the K-Series. I think they can be all-wheel drive. I think so. Don't know. Don't know for sure. Rusky is still not loaded. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Danger Man has a very orange scintilla. Uh, right. Yeah, hit the real question, the real game is... Will Brazen beat any of us? It's going to be an embarrassing time if Brazen does. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a very embarrassing round if Brazen does. Uh, right, have we got everybody... Oh, I'm going to do a countdown in a minute. I don't know what they're doing over there. Uh, right. Let's go and get everyone ready. Uh, I think uh, I think Rusky's having internet or having game-related issues. So Speedbeast is going to shoot off into the lead, but I'm okay to follow here. And well, Speedbeast has already launched and died. Uh, whoop. We are going to slow it down. Lado is going to struggle. Lado has actually got past Gliska. They've, they've dealt with it relatively reasonably and sensibly there. We're on the brakes coming off there. All three of us are playing it a bit careful at the moment. Uh-oh. No, me and Gliska have got bounced in very similar ways. Mine's gone slightly better than Gliska's. I have got steering damage. Now, Lado's going to have to deal with the Lobolide's horrible issues through this section coming up. And it looked like it might have done a front flip, although I think I think Lado's got it under control. Now the thing that the problem is, I lost a bunch of time through there, my steering's knackered. We do have probably a technically speaking faster car. Oh, crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh oh. Okay, no, we're fine. Right, Lado is on the ice. My steering isn't great here, but we might have to launch it. We can get on the ice. Right, here we go. We should be faster than that Lobolide. Oh no, I've got no, I haven't got the steering anymore to launch it. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ow! Oh yeah, yeah, well, I don't know how much of the steer. Like, there was some serious, it was some serious pull in the steering, and I just couldn't get it under control. So the only hope we had was to boot it and just use blinding, blinding speed. And unfortunately for me, blinding speed. Did not have any control, like none. Absolutely zero control was had there um, in my car. Lado is going to take a victory in the Lobolide over there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we needed to be... We are, Well, there were bits we could have been faster in and we didn't make the most of them. Uh, Gliska is still going. Maybe it's like Gliska versus Shadow. Oh, Shadow's not going any further, I don't think. Uh, might have got it, might have taken a very big hit, uh, but has got going. There's a <laughs> battle of the broken occurring. Yeah, Glissa's car's heavily, heavily damaged in all of that. Not as heavily damaged as mine. Like, that's a funny angle for a chassis. Oh, yeah, Glissa's got heavy rear wheel damage on that. Shadow. I mean, the bolide is looking like it's going to make it at least. And everyone else, who else? Is, well, Brazen, the Pugin, actually did half decent. It got to the half pipe. So it could have been worse. Um, oh, Shadow has flipped it on the sand dune. And oh, it's not what you needed to lose. Although there might be some. So the wheels come off on my end. It doesn't actually mean the car has lost a wheel. However, it does look a little bit unfortunate. It looks like Shadow might be eliminated. Well, Lado may go and help. Lado may choose to be merciful and give it a push. Gliska has got stuck on one of the sand dunes. Uh, just, yeah, busted car. Gliska, you've managed to get a wheel inside out. I don't quite know how you've done that one, but well done. Brazen's Actually managed to get the Pujin. Actually, I think managed to get the Pujin slightly further than me. Managed to wiggle it through. I lost both the wheels. Um, there we go. Lado is trying to help Shadow get to the finish line. No, oh, no. 
Uh, right. Oh, where am I? Uh, there we go. Okay. Harriet Wint, so the, the Lobolide is going to be a difficult one to beat. We know that's actually going to be a little bit. I'm going over this side just for a little bit of a different, you know, different starting spot on the grid. We know that Lobolide is going to be a one to watch out. Now, there's a couple of ways we can do it. Uh, we can try and get the lead early on, but I have to slow it down for the bumps. That's the big problem for me, is we can't really send it hard over those bumps. If we do, we're just going to break our car. So our options would be go try and get an early lead, slow it down over the bumps and then speed up afterwards. Which is probably not the worst plan in the world. I think that's the one we're going to go for. Try and go quick early on. It does rely on us getting it slowed down, which is easier said than done, really. Because where do you actually go to slow it down? Uh, oh. Is this, oh, this has already gone too hard over there, and that's the problem. Yeah, that's the issue. Oh, well, we may have wiped out Lado along the way. Yeah, that's the issue with that plan. I tried to get the lead early on. Uh, oh, it broke a front. It broke one of the front parts as well. Yeah, that, that's definitely not the way to do it. That is not the way to do it. In our spin, though, we hit Lado, and we definitely did some damage the back of Lado's car. It's got going. It's dragged itself out over there. Uh, Speed Beast with a big lead early on. That's not great, if I'm honest. Uh, <laughs> Speed Beast had a big lead. Speed Beast is now on fire and is about to, I suspect, go into the impalement spike. Oh no, it might slide, it might spin clear. Go on, go in the impalement spike. Nope, you spun clear of the impalement spike. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure there's much K-series left now. Uh, it was a good effort. Oh, Brazen is a tumbling, tumbling ball of Poojin. Although, it ha again, has beaten me. Uh, tumbling ball of Poojin has got stopped. Uh... Shadow is beached and out. Lado is beached and out. Well, not beached. Lado is smashed into a wall. Rusky has had a bad run, has got it clear. So it's really Gliska, I think. It's the one. Oh, that's gone. Not, oh, Danger Man's impalement spiked it. Gliska is locked. Might avoid the wall or might hit it so slowly. There we go. Gliska survives. There's something... Uh, no, no, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's a little battered. It's had a crash. However, it is still going, and that is the important thing. And I'm pretty sure that is the only car left running. So, oh, pretty sure the steering's unhappy with life at the moment. Don't end up in a crater. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a unusual line. It's a very unusual line through that sector, section, sector, however you want to pronounce it. My brain did a very poor job of uh, uh, of that word, but yeah, good work from Gliska. They will be the victor. Uh, yeah, Danger Man's car is upside down in the impalement spike. Ouch. And Lado's, yeah, smashed the wall. I, I think I ended up doing a fair bit of that damage to Lado's car when we were spinning out of control, and it was just, yeah, My, my my plan, I mean, it, it was a good plan, in theory. Just it, it got too, the car got too bounced over the bumps. Uh, oh, Gliska's car is going to dig in to the mud. It should be able, should have enough power. All-wheel drive, should be able to dig it out of here. Uh, again, no real pressure either at this point. So, <laughs> yeah. Is there's no 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 issue with that, and Gliska will spin it around and cross the line to take a victory, and still have steering and everything. It's not perfect, but it is a very good victory for Gliska. Well done. Uh, we are, yeah, had a terrible run. Uh, Petrolhead, thank you very much for the super chat. Saying there is a new Zenvo supercar coming with a hybrid quad turbo. 
and a 6.6 .6 litre V12 with 1,850 horsepower. I think they may have got a bit mad. It's called Aurora. I did see that. I mean, I love the Zenvos. Um, I love the Zenvos. They're awesome. They are some of my favourite modern hypercars. Um, yeah, it's madness. And this is part of the problem I have with modern supercar oh, modern supercars, modern hypercars, is everything has one and a half thousand, two thousand horsepower. It's just all the numbers are so ridiculous uh, with 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 them, and the cars are so heavy as well with all that power. I mean, that like, don't get me wrong. I love Zenvo. They're amazingly eccentric and brilliantly weird, uh, and I love I love the TSRs and all of those ones. Um, yeah, I mean, if it looks the part, cool. Um, but yeah, like, it's got to the point where 1,800 horsepower doesn't surprise me or impress me any. Like, I just don't care. And it's weird to be saying that as someone who loves cars, but at, at times, like when, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think, but when you had supercars, I guess when I was growing up, sort of coming out. They seemed way more interesting when you got new ones than the current plethora. Because I think the problem is that there's so many. I mean, admittedly, that not being full electric is nice, but there's so many of the electric hypercars with about the same power figures that look about the same, that do about the same. That I just don't care. They just don't differentiate themselves apart anymore. So, yeah, I'll wait to see uh, what the Zenvo looks like. Because of the modern hypercars, the Apollo is the one I like the most. The Zenvo is the other one I quite like. The rest I don't really care that much about. So <laughs> we will see what the Zenvo does. I hope, it's, I hope it looks cool. I hope it looks the part. Um, but yeah. We will, I guess, wait and see. The only thing I've seen about the car is the engine. I don't know if there were other bits. Visca was in reverse slightly there. Uh, now, we are going to go for a... Uh oh, Whoa. a slightly more careful approach. Uh, we have ended up behind the Pugin. Speed beast. Okay, so yeah, when you're back here, the dust is actually a real problem. Pugin's fallen over in front of us. Glisk has had a spin. Oh, and I've just lost control on the dirt. That's actually not the worst thing that could have happened to us because we will spin it around. Now it's bent a rear wheel, but we are still okay to carry on. Oh no, we're. Oh, okay, that is bent it more than I realised. Brazen's almost escaped the circuit. Uh, well, unless Lado Rex, I don't think we can win because the Lebolide is probably the most sensible option. And we are going to have to slow it down here. Oh, see, we're going a little faster trying to catch Shadow and Danger Man here. Uh, oh, oh, no, SBR4, be good. Be good. Now, I don't want to hit these containers if I can help it. Although, I don't know how much I can steer away. Nope, we're going to hit one. Because I don't have the steering. And this is the concern for the half-pipe bit. Is I don't really have much steering in my car. It's a vague suggestion at best. But we've got it. Even if we are... Oh, no, no, no. It's a lot, it's a lot worse than a vague suggestion. Something's gone wrong with the front left wheel. Uh, and Danger Man's about to get impalement spiked. And Danger Man has been impaled. Uh, we are heading down the ice. Oh, no, 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 car. Stay up here. Okay, I'll take that. That's actually preferable to what you were doing. That's fine. Uh-oh. Control is going. Not again. Not again here. Well, okay. No, 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 no. Plan. Oh, crap. Oh. That is not the bit I wanted to land on. I still have drive. It still works. It's still going. It's on the wall. I mean, I don't really have steering, and Lado has won. Well, okay, Lado's won unless that car is a wreck, and I don't think it was. And then there's Shadow, whose car is also probably not... I don't actually know if mine does have drive anymore. I am full throttle, and we are not picking up speed, so I think I may be wrong about the having drive part. Uh, I mean, can we pass Gliska? Oh, yep. Come on, SBR4. Flail. Flail your way to victory. Or to third. No, 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 no. I've got, I've got the control for this anymore. Can't. Yep, that. Thank you. Uh, well, it's an unconventional line. Where is Gliska? No, no. Oh, I put it in park. 
I'm stuck. No, Gliska's going to get third. And I am stuck in the mud. Danger Man. A bit of Danger Man looks like they might make it. We do still have drive here. We just don't have enough drive. Uh, oh, that's park. Uh, thank you, Lado. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> it's... It's because we're so beached, I think. Oh, come on. Come on, SBR4. Your front wheels are still spinning. Uh-oh. There's bits of someone coming towards us. Is that bits of Rusky? Oh. Oh, we've got some movement. Some movement has occurred. Lado with, by the looks of the condition of that car, a pretty much perfect run. Lado's going to give us a bump. And we are going to make it to the bottom. Hey, we required some help from a Lado. Yeah, we, we can still drive. Kind of. It's not very good. And it's a very loose sort of drive. But we do still amazingly have some movement. Uh, <laughs> can I do a donut? No. Not really. We can kind of steer this way, alright. <laughs> uh, oh, Deja Man cheated, so that means we ended up fourth. Uh, considering we... I don't know how Deja Man cheated, but there we go. Uh, yeah, that was a good fun round. The SBR4, probably not quite the way to go. Brazen, fair play. Did quite well, considering that Brazen had to have a Poojin for all of this. Uh, <laughs> you know, you beat some you beat some of the supercars. You beat Speed Beast this time, who disintegrated very early on. I don't think Rusky set off. Um, but all, all resets, the game broke. That does happen sometimes along the way, shall we say. So, yeah, that was... Uh, uh, that was definitely an interesting... an interesting round, for sure. Uh, uh, right, okay, what did we... Okay, right, our next round. We're, gonna, we're probably going to only do this once. I'm unlikely to run three attempts with it, because I don't think it's going to work. But we are going to have a go at a round where you cannot have tyres on your vehicle. You must be on the rims. Now, I don't know how that's going to work. You can use whatever vehicle you want. You are free to use whatever vehicle you want. But you can't have tyres on it. I mean, I feel like I'm probably never going to use... Well, I guess I might use this. But this is the sort of vehicle that's probably a good... A good option for this. Blackfoot. Oh, and it spawns in with no tyres as well. That helps. Uh, I'm going to just make sure that they are... I'm going to just make sure that they actually it actually hasn't spawned any tyres and they're not just some weird part of the mod. Uh, okay, no, he's just spawned without tyres. Perfect. That is what we want. All right. Lock up that uh, high-range gearbox. Yeah, that should be fine. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know don't know what is going to be good down here. I feel like, much like with the engineless round, start off with an SUV, probably a good shout. You know, it's probably going to work quite well. I could maybe do with a bit more power, if the Blackfoot has. Do I want more power, though? That is a very good question. Blackfoot, oh. Uh... I just see. Uh, I, I want to know what is a super high performance engine block. How much power can the Blackfoot get? Because the thing is, like, do I want a lot of power? Okay, well, so that is the biggest engine. Here. Super high performance long block. Yes. How much power are you? Three hundred horsepower. Um, don't know what a power six ECU is, but sure. 
Uh, stage three performance exhaust. Yes. Uh, intake. Power six, maybe? Uh, it's good enough. Whatever. Um, okay, so super high performance, that's 388. And that is... Um, also 388, so it's about the same. Okay, Rushkey's not running this one because their game is having issues. Uh, right. Shadow has gone to their tried and tested. Uh, <laughs> Cheria, by the looks of it. Uh, I think I saw Brazen with a Roma. Well, this is probably what we're going to see. You're going to want a good amount of ride height to start with for this. There's Brazen's monstrosity. Because, yeah, you're going to want ride height because you're not going to get... Uh, you, you're going to have lost a bunch of ground clearance, basically, by having no sidewall, especially in the SUVs. Lado's got square wheels. I mean, maybe there's a way that works. I suspect that it's not going to work, but, you know, maybe there's a way that it works. I, I do think that this is going to descend into a round of... of Utter madness. Yeah, I don't know whether donk wheels could be the way to go. Maybe donk wheels could work. Maybe they'd be way worse. I mean, we've got enough ground clearance that we'll go over the bumps, right? We won't have a problem going on. I mean, technically, if we're going to get real technical here, <laughs> Lado does have tyres, but the square wheels... Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to hold that. Uh, Gliska has gone for what the hell are those? Gliska's got some like wire spools stuck on the. Uh... <laughs> oh, I hope that works because that's hilarious. Oh, Shadow's got to take the tires off. I presume that's what this queue is for. Uh, or not, Shadow, take your tires off. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> I think they're probably still just in the doing the upgrading thing, uh, in the. Editing the car. Yeah, Gliska's wheels are mad. I like it. You see, that is, that's got a very different route. Now, it could work. There's a downside. There's a downside that they're going to be quite heavy. And I don't know if you want that. I'd be worried about them just snapping because I don't think the suspension is going to be designed to, to deal with that weight and the amount of force going on. Hello, Kitty Cass. How are you doing today? We have a good boy come to say hello. Uh, we've had the best the best cat. Um, I say the best cat. I love all my animals, but, you know, cat is the best. Uh, cat will forever be my favourite cat. Um, just because of the way he is. He's so cute. Um, right. I don't know. Shadow, maybe sink your car? Because it is currently not showing up as having got the tyres removed. Uh, Speedwish is full-on trophy truck with the littlest of wheels. That's a way to go. I say the littlest of wheels. They're not that much smaller than mine, but it looks smaller because the truck's so much bigger. Uh, Spencer, thank you very much for the super chat. There wasn't a message with it, but thank you. It is much appreciated indeed. Um, right, well, we're going to start and Shadow can either sink it later or whatever. Well, I guess we will see. Uh, oh, I did not lock everything up, which I probably should have done. All right, here we go. Uh, I mean, I, we're going... It's going to be a very easily... Oh, I... My gearbox is garbage, so... We're just going to have to leave it in neutral. Oh, dear! I mean, the predictable thing happened... However, we lost a rear wheel. Even if we somehow get back on our wheels, we have lost all drive. The predictable thing occurred, really, in that, uh, yeah, we had a we, we 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 lost it under brakes and could not gather it back up again. Uh, so yeah, there there is that. By the looks of it, Lado with the square wheels. Is actually 
well, is winning. Might, well, it's lost all its wheels. I'm not really sure. It's, <laughs> it's not got much control here. It's heading towards the trees. It spins and spins. Oh, and then clocks them ones. And I think is pretty much at the mercy of the course. Oh, it's go <laughs> The body's come off. It's still going. Uh, the body's in a crater. However, the chassis... Oh, is now in a different crater. Lado is eliminated. I mean, it really becomes now, can Shadow survive? Uh, no. No is the answer. Ooh! Ow. Shadow also, el well, not eliminated. Gravity might still help. To an ex I don't think gravity is going to help Shadow enough to get a victory, but we shall see. Um, it is heading towards, it might end up in the same pit as Lado, depending on how it bounces down this section. If it bounces back out into the middle, or it might just come to a stop. Sometimes the friction will be enough to stop them. Mm, does look like what might be about to happen to the chariot. Is it, no, it's still going. It's, no, it's picking up speed again. It might sneak past Lado. It might be very annoying. It might be very annoying for a square-wheeled machine. That's, uh, oh, it's, it's, oh no, it's drifted. It's drifted. It's heading towards the same pit. It is in the same pit as Lado. Uh, ooh. Who wins? Wait, hold on. We're trying to figure out who has got further out of the pit. Who has got further out of the pit? What bit of car is further along? Oh, God. I think it goes to Shadow. Just... If you try and look straight, I think Shadow's is at least like a few millimetres ahead of Lado's truck. Oh dear. I mean, we died quite early on. Brazen died on the checkerboard. Uh, Shadow, we saw down there with Lado. Speed Beast, oh, has reset. Uh, I guess it's reset as well. So, this is, funnily enough, quite difficult. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, this is not easy to do. Um, my gearbox is garbage. I don't know whether... Uh, uh, yeah, Gliska has had the issue that I thought they might do. In that the... Uh, what's it called? Is to... I'm going to try a 12-speed gearbox and see if this works. Um, yeah, the wheels are too heavy for the car. So the, act, the, the the whole suspension just breaks. It's a fun idea, the giant wheels, but you see the issues with them. Uh, so the reason I've gone for a 12-speed gearbox is I literally just want to put it in a high gear and not really be worrying about gears for the rest of the time. So yeah, we can just do this. We can kind of just cruise along because we've got to worry more about steering than anything else. Uh, we've got to much more worry about that. We are going to get ahead. Oh, Glisk is in so much trouble. Oh, Speed Beast with a hell of a stunt, if you can land that. Nicely held. Oh, and then a big flight. I am not slowing down very well. Uh, okay, over some bumps we go. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no debris out of the way. Oh, crap. But I haven't got any steering to get away from that. How are my tyres are not deflated? I don't have tyres on it. The wheels are deflated. But that's about it. Oh, God. I don't know how I got away with avoiding. Danger man. Ooh. Okay. We're rear wheel drive. I can live with rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive is not the end of the world for us. We still... It means we've still got some drive. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't break the back drive shaft. Oh, we're one wheel drive now. Okay, but we are still going. We've spat out our wheel. Okay, we are over there. Danger Man is... Oh, brakes, do something. Slow the damn truck down. Uh-oh. Blackfoot. Well. 
I we've gone a way that's preferable, even if we are out of control. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we've got no drive left. Steering is a suggestion. A suggestion that's not being listened to! And... Oh, that would have been astonishingly cool if it had got parked. However, can I... No. No. I cannot go any further. We are stuck. Uh, <laughs> however... Oh, hello, wheel. <laughs> Who's is that? Uh, right. Is anyone actually going to go further than we did this time? I'm not sure. Danger Man has... Oh, everyone's hit. We're going to win! Everyone's hit the halfpipe. Lado, Brazen, Speed Beast have all hit the halfpipe. Danger Man didn't even get there. Shadow's stuck on a mud pit. And Glisco reset, I think, with an immediate wreck and is trying to fix the wheels. So... There we go. Uh, it looks like it is going to be... Wait, it looks like it's going to be a victory for me, unless Shadow can actually... Oh no, Shadow's got it free. I, it's going to be a very disappointing and annoying round. Oh, <laughs> Shadow's fallen over again. And clonk, and clonk, and bounce. Please just break Shadow's car. Break Shadow's car. Break Shadow's car. Leave it stuck upside down. Break Shadow's car. Good, it's broken. <laughs> we can celebrate as a victory for the Blackfoot. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Yeah, that's a dead... That's a dead chariot. Uh, oh, this has broken the taxi even more. Oh, dear. Uh, let's go and have a reset. Do I want to know? Uh... <laughs> oh, dear. I see what Gliska's done. I see... I see the... Uh, what, what the... Hell has happened. Ha oh, God. You know, honestly, at this point, I'm going to just sit here because I want to see what happens to the taxi. Like, I, I'm... I'm not even that fussed about the race. Uh, <laughs> I want to see what happens to the taxi more than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> What's, how have you broken it that badly? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, it was predictable, I guess. Oh, crap. I'm busy laughing at the taxi, and now I'm going to crash into it. Hello. Oh, clonk. Oh, no, no. Well, me and Shadow have tangled with a taxi, and I'm now going back. Oh, I've clonked it really badly on my own there. Maybe I shouldn't have parked there to laugh at a taxi. I feel like Karma may... may have taken a disliking to... my messing around. Can I... get any sort of control out of you, Blackfoot? Uh... Nope. Oh, for God's sake. We're going to lose to the taxi because I couldn't get it. I should have just driven it down the pit, because we were going so slowly anyway. Oh, that's very frustrating. Um, what is going on up at the front? Oh, Lado has disintegrated and died with the square wheels. Brazen is stuck with one-wheel drive. At this point, Speed Beast had no brakes and couldn't avoid just going straight into Danger Man, and that's going to leave... A disintegrating truck that will not clear the... Nope, does not clear the half pipes. Brazen's stuck as well. Danger Man's stuck. Lado's stuck. Shadow is stuck. Um, Gliska is disintegrated, but we are... Annoyingly, we are perfectly good condition. We're just upside down because it <laughs> had no grip and no traction and I couldn't move the damn thing. Speed Beast has managed to wiggle the trophy truck or the stadium truck, whichever one that one is, free. Uh... It did look like it's... Oh, it's upside down now. It's upside down, but it is on the side... Well, uh, no, it's going to fall off the side path. It might be about to head into the tunnel. Yep, that's about to get munched. Oh! That's the end of Speed Beast. So it now comes down to whether... Does Shadow have enough grip to do anything here? Well, it's not towards the impalement spike. 
but it is to, to the ice, and I don't know if that's going to have the steering to avoid Speed Beast. It doesn't. Oh, <laughs> big death. <laughs> Speed Beast is going to win. Speed Beast is slightly further along than Shadow. What a death, though, for the Cherry. A 10 out of 10 for the death right there. An excellent, an excellent death for the Chariot. But it is no more. Um... Yeah. This round was difficult. It wasn't actually as terrible as I thought it was going to be, although if you lose control, as we saw on that one, if you do lose control, uh, you are in so much trouble, basically. Because um, you just cannot gather the vehicles back up again. You're just, you're just kind of stuck. Um, so, yeah. That was quite impressive. Right. And next round. So, we are going to do a three-wheeled round. Now, that gives you a few options. Gives you a few options. Hello, Kitty Cass. How are you doing? Um, it gives you a widgeon or a pigeon or the copper, which is what I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive the uh, unstable a fitting name really so yeah three-wheeled vehicles uh, there is no way to um, remove a wheel from a car and turn a car a normal car into a three-wheeled vehicle uh, hello Cass I'm getting headbutted by a cat um, I don't know why you're headbutting with your teeth though <laughs> I say it's like I guess he's like he like headbutted me and as he's like rubbing his head alongside me is like managing to uh, poke his tooth out the side of his mouth. You're a silly cat. You are a very silly cat. Now we did see Lado get to the bottom with one of these. It wasn't in working order, and I suspect there's going to be quite a few of these coverts because. I think this is actually a better shout than a widget or a pigeon. Um, I really, really do think this is the better, a better way to go. Um, Lado is going for the Pujin. I forgot. Yeah, but you can go for the Pujin. Absolutely, you can go for that if you wish. Um, I don't think there is a three-wheeled Piccolina, unfortunately. Now this will fall over quite easily. Oh wow, that's actually immediately ruptured the fuel tank. Well, that's good to know. Did not know that. Have learnt. Have learnt important lesson. Is that... Uh, yeah, I mean, they're all going to fall over, right? This, the pigeon, which all of them are going to fall over. One way or another. I think this has a little bit more stability, but it's not much. I see Gliska's plan. Yeah, you can't take off individual wheels, but... Uh, you know, I'm going to allow it. I'm going to allow it. I like... I, I, I applaud the creativity. I don't know if it's a good shout. But it's an idea. It's, it's, it's an idea. <laughs> it's probably no worse. Actually, isn't that Piccolina rear-wheel drive? Um... Or not. I don't know what Gliska's plan is. Uh... <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a surprisingly slow race. Oh, Shadow and Brazen have gone widgeons. Look at how tiny, how tiny the widgeons are compared to the might of the unstable covert. We're not going to get many vehicles to the bottom. I'm not quite sure. I mean, that's also very much not three wheels. <laughs> you can't do it with those. Because even if you kind of count the spare bit on the side, you've got to take off either both front wheels or both rear wheels. The way you could do it would be with a front wheel drive and kind of sneak a wheel on the back. But <laughs> that's also rear wheel drive. Uh, yeah. I don't I'm going to I'm going to make the bold predict, prediction now that no one's making it. Mm. 
and Glisco is just finding out that the Dune Kicker is a rear-wheel drive trophy truck. You could maybe do it with a D-series. Maybe. Maybe with a D-series. Uh, with the right, with the... One of those might be all-wheel drive. Um... Yeah, Speed Beast, I don't know what the ha what the physics is that? What in the world of you? I mean, you have made that three wheels. I will... Oh, no, Gliska has found some drive in that. Uh, Speed Beast has orbiting brake discs. I do worry what's about to happen to the game with Speed Beast's brake disc orbit. I'm not going to go near that. I'm, I'm not going to go near that, however the hell that works. So it's me and Rusky with the unstables. Brazen and Shadow have widgins. Danger Man has a pigeon van. Speed Beast has orbiting brake discs. Lado has a toilet. And Gliska is a trophy truck minus the rear wheels. That I don't think has very much drive. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh no, Gliska's gone for a pigeon. I mean, I, I like this. I like this thing a lot. However the hell it's going to work. Let's see. Let us find out. Let us find out how... I, I mean, I don't think the... the, the fan, Is it the Fanta, whatever the thing's called? I don't think it's very good to begin with. I doubt giving it three wheels is going to help. Um, now, I think slow and steady is going to be the way to do this. I don't think fast is a good idea. Uh, somehow. Oh, okay. We are over. We are over. Oh, Rusky's had a flip. Griska is in the lead. Danger Man has fallen over. Uh, now, brakey, brakey, slow down, slow down, slow down. We're not slowing down anymore. I seem to have lost my ability to slow down. Uh, Danger Man is tumbling. Danger Man out of the way. Oh, thank you. Griska has fallen over. My brakes are fading. Um,. Uh, I feel like that would be a time to sound many alarm bells. I do not want brakes fading in this. Uh, can I cool my brakes? Please cool. Please cool. Just, like, oh, breathe fresh air. Breathe some fresh air, please, brakes. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We are into the half pipe. Can I steer? Okay, I am heading towards the ice. Uh, can I have ice-cooled brakes, please? We could really do with it. Okay, we are now picking up a lot of speed. My brakes are next to useless here anyway, especially if they are starting to melt. 80 miles an hour in this vehicle is not good. It's got a lot of wheel hop. Uh, I think my brakes have failed. Uh, they're barely doing anything anymore. We are past the potholes. I am now full on the brakes and they are not working. They need to cool down, because I don't think I can take the sand at 90 miles an hour in this. Oh no, unstable. Please live. Please live. Uh-oh. No, no, don't get airborne over there. Okay, now I don't think we have to worry. The mud will slow us down. Amazingly, and I cannot believe I am going to say this. My brakes are shot to hell. However... <laughs> I actually think we had a cleaner run in a three-wheeled covert than I did in the hopper. The hopper had one of the most perfect uh, uh, the most perfect run of the day. However, a three-wheeled cover, I think I did better. I think we actually had a cleaner run with a three-wheeled cover because I can't actually see any damage on it. Uh, <laughs> there's not even a bent under tray. The under tray's fine. The brake lights work. Astonishingly, <laughs> astonishingly, I made it. That's it. That, that, that's, that is the peak. I don't think I'm ever going to do better than that. Oh, Rusky's already reset back at the top. Brazen is a ball of pigeon. Or widgeon. Danger Man is a ball of pigeon and broken. Shadow is going. May charge down Brazen. Uh, speed boost reset. Lado's stuck. Gliska's disintegrated. So it then becomes, will Shadow beat Brazen? It looks like Shadow will beat Brazen for second place. So, oh, although Shadow's front wheel does not look like a front wheel should look anymore. Uh, 
And Shadow is across the line. Shadow will get second. Brazen will get third. More vehicles made it down uh, than I expected. So... There we go. Um, my car did not disable it. Well, my car might have turned itself off. Hold on. Does my car still work? Oh, hold on. Uh... No, nope, it might have said disable. The engine may have turned off while I was spectating. Still works, Kliska. <laughs> Can't get away with it. Yeah, I'm not. That, that's not going to happen again, I don't think. But we'll try and get it down the bottom working. That went surprisingly, surprisingly well. Uh, yeah, the Fanta exploded. Who, who would have thought the Fanta, given orbiting brake discs and three wheels, would explode someone's game? I, get, I would have guessed that. I, I did guess that, I think. Uh, Killer Robot, thank you very much for the super chat. So say hello, Alex, filming crew and chat. If you are taking suggestions, I request street-tuned vehicles. Okay. Okay, we can go for some of them. They will be low-slung and cause issues, I suspect. Ah, oh, Speed Beast has a bin! You know what must happen. <laughs> I'm not going to do it because, well, actually, all of us are a bit wobbly and fully over. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't really nick a bin. I can't really go for a bin-stealing mission. But if, if Speed Beast is in front of us, there might be some bin-stealing to be done. But I'm not going to try and go for it. Um, right. Have we, what are we waiting for? Lado. Back up here. Okay. I, yeah, I, I am astonished. Uh, I had, well, Ult Ultimate Ragnarok is, is the correct. I did. I predict Noah would make it, and then I managed to do a completely dam damageless run with a car that absolutely should have fallen over. Oh, Lado did. Oh, Lado did. Lado was still going. I didn't realise Lado was still going. I thought that had. I thought that got stuck and was stopped. But uh, Lado did genuinely make it with the Pujin. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Speed Beast is taunting us with a bin. Uh, all right, there is the countdown. Uh, uh, I mean, honestly, at this point, if you just make it to the bottom with a working car, you do stand a pretty good shout of winning. Gliska's bullying <laughs> two green... Who will be superior green pigeon? Uh, Gliska has won the opening scuffle. We shall see whether that continues. Uh, we are going through the gears. And then it's... Oh, oh, Speed Beast has gone after Gliska and wrecked. <laughs> Speed Beast has lost... Speed Beast has shed the bin on their own. That's fine. Brazen has fallen over. How have you fallen over onto this path, Brazen? I honestly don't quite know how you've done that. It's quite impressive. Now... Oh, no, no, no. Steer away from that bit. I can't get my car away from that. Oh, no. Could you just bounce back over? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It was just, it was so polite. It was just, it was so nice about it. It's so well behaved. It had a little, had a little accident. It came back onto its wheels almost perfectly. The steering's not even bent. The brakes are a little toasty again. I'd rather they weren't, but... Actually, I think they're less toasty than they were last time. I think sliding down on its roof helped. Because it... it it slowed down without uh, actually having to use the brake. Oh, there is, it is a little bit bent on the old steering and, and suspension front. Who would have thought? Oh, oh, half pipe. Okay, we're fine. Shadow is close behind, so we're going to have to be mindful here if we want to win. Because Shadow will but well, we'll have to send it. They're not going to be satisfied with just cruising home in second. Uh, now, as we come off the ice. This is where we need the brakes to start working, and they have slowed us down a bit. Uh, they have stopped functioning for most of it. Oh, come on. Come on, unstable covert of madness. I don't know where Shadow's gone. Uh, brakes are again. I mean, you can hear them squealing away. They are really not happy with what we're doing here. Uh, we are into the sand. We're actually slower into the sand than we were last time around. So I think we are even better controlled than before. Yeah, it's not another flawless run. But it is going to get to the bottom with minimal damage. I, mean, I think it's got a punctured tyre. It's a little... Steering is a little bit bent. The rear wheel's not right. Yeah, we took a puncture. The brakes are a lot healthier. 
this time around, <laughs> amazingly. Yeah, we had a roll. We had a roll. It landed back on its wheels perfectly, and we carried on. <laughs> what a machine. <laughs> this is the best we've done all evening, is with this. And I can't believe that's the case. Uh, <laughs> we have got a victory. Shadow is going to continue their run of good results. I mean, Shadow got down without too much problem. Just wasn't as quick. Uh, Shadow's strategy of making it to the bottom uh, sensibly continues to score good results, even if it's not always a win. Um, but yeah, Shadow made it down there uh, well also. And it looks like Danger Man is... Oh, no, no Danger Man's in a pit. Uh, Brazen is very much destroyed. Rusky is... Oh, Rusky's making it. Has lost the big wheel. Has lost the big wheel. Lado, Lado's not making it. Uh, Speed Beast is... Well, we saw Speed Beast and Gliska have a fight. Neither really came out of it very well at that point. Uh, will Rusky be able to go backwards? I think Rusky will get stuck in the mud. Because uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't think you're going to be able... Gravity's not going to beat the mud pit. And I don't think I would have the drive to rescue that one. Even if I wanted to. Well, it is gradually making it. Uh, we can try. I mean, if anything can do it, this might be able to go and rescue Rusky. Because big rear wheel should act like a big paddle in the mud. Uh, Rusky, you couldn't have... Oh, come on. Come on, covert. It looks like Rusty's actually still going anyway. Alright, come on. We're going to get two of these things to the finish line. Hopefully. Alright, come on. Come on. Yeah, use the big paddly tyre. Uh, <laughs> Lano rescued us when we got stuck in the mud. We will return the favour to Rusky. Uh, oh. Because getting two of the unstable combat. Admittedly, <laughs> one with assistance, but still. And we had enough life in our vehicle to go and rescue our teammates. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. I will take that. Uh, <laughs> oh, what a silly round. I'm enjoying this round. I thought this was going to be a terrible round and I was completely wrong. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, Ronald, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying brakes break, but when brakes break, brakes no longer break. You are not wrong. You are not wrong on that. And I love that that sentence makes sense, and it shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> that, that should not make sense at all, but it makes perfect sense. Despite the fact that, there, that it says break more times in that sentence than any other word. Yet that is technically a sentence that does... Ish. Make sense. Uh, <laughs> Shady Brady, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Say, all hail the three-wheeled covet. Uh, it's mighty. It is mighty. The three-wheeled cover is the way to go for all your three-wheeled vehicle needs. I don't know when you'd need three-wheeled vehicles. However, for all your three-wheeled vehicle needs, the covert is definitely the weapon of choice. All right. Here we go. Let us see. Can we go three for three? Probably not. However, we shall try. I think Speedbeast has gone for like a drag. Well, it always just gone to fire a widget off a ramp. Um, Gliska has gone for stunt of the day. Actually, quite a good roll from Gliska there. Uh, now we're going to have to really slow the car down. Oh, over here. Oh no, we're not going to go for three for three because I didn't see the metal bit behind Gliska's flipping car. Oh, oh, he's landed it again. It's punched at the same tire and it's done similar amounts of damage to us. We pull quite badly. Can't believe that landed on its wheels again. I can hear something behind us. I can't see it. Now, I can't chase Lado down in terms of speed. I'm having to rely on Lado having a crash here. The Pujin's not the easiest to get down here. Shadow has overtaken us at the moment. Well, we may have to ex try and out accelerate that. That looks in better condition than we are. Oh, Although we have now gone back past it again. Lado is going round the containers. Fairly sensible route. Uh, we are heading... I mean, I'm sticking with this middle line through here. Come on, Cobbert. There we go. Uh, 
Through the centre we go. Lado has made it into the half pipe. Oh, radiator's gone. Bit of bodywork's come off. That's fine. Uh, on, on to the half pipe we go. Lado leads the way. Shadow, I think, might be somewhere. Oh, my steering's quite poorly. We somehow made that stick. Shadow is no longer in contention for this. Oh, there's a bump on the wall. We are very sideways. We are very crossed up here. Now, you see, Lado is playing it safe. We know we are oh, we're going for an overtake. We're going for the overtake, and then it's straight on the brakes. Now, I have been able to cool my vehicle. I've cooled my brakes while doing that. So maybe we can get the cover across. Now, Lado will go for it. Lado has to go for it. I am going to have to go for it as well now. Where is... Oh, the Pugins flipped! The Pugins had a massive accident. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone big time. I mean, Lado had to do it. I would have done absolutely the same thing. Amazingly, it's three for three. <laughs> the brakes have failed again at the end. It is three for three in the Comet. Lado comes home in second. Good race. We had, to, we had to push it a lot harder at the bottom of that course. We really had to push it at the bottom there to get past Lado. It was going quicker than I wanted it to. But... We made it work. And then well, yeah, once we got past, Lado had to boot it. Absolutely the right thing to do. Just hope it sticks. <laughs> and it unfortunately... Um, it unfortunately didn't for Lado, but I will, I will respect the effort. And it's second place for the Pugin, uh, which is a good, a great showing for that car. If, if I had been broken, 100%, Lado makes that to the bottom sensibly. Because uh, it had slowed down and it was under control. Uh... <laughs> But, um, yeah, the cover is just too good. Twice it rolled and landed on its wheels. It is the best. Well, Cass, what have you knocked off? What have you done? Kitty Cass, what are you up to? Hold on. What have you knocked off my desk? Uh, nope, shush, phone. I'm looking for a torch because I haven't turned my light on in my office. I don't even know what he knocked off. There was a sound of something clonking off the desk. Oh, it's a GoPro battery. Cass Cass! Why are you knocking GoPro batteries off the sides? What did it ever do to you? I don't know whether chat can hear the meows currently going on. Cass isn't exactly the loudest of cats. But, uh... Apparently, he is displeased slash needed my attention, so knocked GoPro batteries off the side to do it. Uh... <sighs> guess, guess. Such a troublesome cat. Right. Our next vehicle. So, street-tuned cars for our next one. And... Boop! <laughs> well, that's one way to break it. <laughs> That'll do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, after I told everybody you were a good cat, you go and knock, you go and knock batteries over, or off the desk. God dear, you are also shedding like crazy. Between you and a pot, I've got a brand new T-shirt on today, uh, and I sat down to watch the Formula One qualifying, and Apollo sat on the sofa with me, and by the end of it, um, it's now covered in dog hair and now cat hair as well. So yeah. <sighs> When you have as many animals as I... Well, I say as many animals. <laughs> All you would need is one. Uh, this time of year, one animal that sheds fur everywhere. It's everything. It's got my house. It's just full of fur, basically. <laughs> it's just... Yeah. Enjoy. It's not... Well... Cass is kind... Not crazy long-haired, but... L not the shortest-haired cat. Apollo's fairly short-haired dog. And even that's bad. Let alone anyone who has proper long-haired cats and dogs. Anyway, yes, street-tuned cars are up next. Um, oh, what do I want? Is there a straight-tuned Crown Vic? Probably not. Uh, no, I mean, you could build a spec, but this is more going for a... 
might be a street tuned bastion. There is. This is what we're talking about. Um, haven't had a good excuse to go in a bastion yet, so let's go and give it a try. Uh, Killer Robot, thank you very much for the for the super chat. Like, I have another great idea. You can choose whatever vehicle you want, but you can't use your brakes. <laughs> oh dear. I, ooh, how can I cheese that one? I mean, you, your engine brake, but your engine would blow up, and then you wouldn't be you wouldn't survive at the bottom. Uh, I think the way you'd have to do it. I know. I know. I will. We can potentially have that go with that in a little bit. I think I know how I'd do it, but... I think I have done it with no brakes, actually. I think when I very first did this map, that was the challenge. Was it? I can't remember now. But there might be a way. There might. I, I think I know how I, how I would go about it. Whether it'll work or not, I don't know. Uh, Crazy Cobra, thank you very much for the super chat. Saying, can you do a round in chinchillas, I think? I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, I know the animal. I know, I, know, I, know the, I know what the chinchilla animal is, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't have the liveries. Damn it. I was going to have uh, Shadows made some really cool liveries. And I did not realise that they were not installed uh, on this today, which is a bit of a shame. But there we go. Uh, Drake, thank you very much for the donation. So I'm sending this because I believe I've had a couple of jokes your way. I don't don't know if you read if, if you had my bad if you hadn't if you haven't I only have one thing to say to you so where are where are my boots I thank you in this case uh did I read uh where's it gone no uh, I don't I actually don't know don't know if I did um oh it might have meant scintilla not chinchilla that would probably make more sense yeah <laughs> no I want a chinchilla car <laughs> uh anyway it's Drake for another donation from somewhere so how, how do you know how do you know beauty queens need help with their makeup when Brazen turns up in a glampulance to deal with the emergency, that definitely going to get a boo. Definitely going to get a boo. Um, on that one. Uh, also, I, I hear Lado went racing in the fail race orange, but it ran out of juice when he squeezed it for more power. <laughs> it's terrible. You're going to get a boo there as well. Yeah, you, you're going to get a boo on that one. Um, you're definitely getting some boos. Oh, I have turbo. I have turbo noises. Wait, hold on. It's weird having a bastion with turbo noises and not supercharger sounds. Brazen is brave. I will give Brazen, you know, that is a brave choice. We've got Grand Marshals and Coverts and a Lansdale. Oh, that's also a choice. Okay, I think Danger Man may be braver than Brazen. Shadow got a sensible shout. Speed Beast is not a terrible idea either. Um, this should be an interesting battle. This should be an interesting battle between this lot. Uh, apparently, we're going to <laughs> Margarita. You know what? Sure, that's okay. We can do that. Um, all right, here we go. We will fire the bastard. I've got a lot of power in this car. Uh, I don't know whether I want to lead. I'm going for... Oh, no, Lado's going faster than me. I was going to say, I'm going for the go relatively quick, build a lead, and then control the race. However, I'm not going to go as fast as Lado is going. Lado wants to send it. And, like, that's absolutely a tactic. If you reckon you've got a car that can survive it, or you just hope you're going to get lucky and survive the jumps like that, that Lado did not survive. <laughs> Lado hit a rock. Lado had a very big accident. Ooh. My exhaust has come off. Well, I'm just going to be a really loud bastion now. Lado is going... If now that may land on its wheels. Oh, my steering's knackered. Oh, no. My steering's gone. My steering's gone big time. I may have enough steering, but it's not going to be very... Oh. Do I still have enough drive? I still have drive. I still have drive, and I have a little bit of steering. It's not great. Gliska's to the left. Shadows to the right. Lado's through the ice. Uh, we do have control of our car. We're not going to have control if we do that. Car... Uh-oh. I've lost... I, uh, I haven't got much control left. There. Oh, no. No, I've got no steering anymore. Steering is gone in the bastion. Uh, okay. Up the jump! Uh, not looking great for us. Ooh, no, not great for us. 
The hope is I can roll further than Lado. Oh, come on, Bastion. Do it. Do it. Okay, we've overtaken Lado. We might actually be able to win this round because I can't see Shadow moving. I think Shadow wrecked. I have no steering. Well, one of my wheels is gone. The other wheel is... I mean, that's a lot of camber. That's a lot of camber on the front there. But if no one else is moving, it might be a victory for the Bastion anyway. But my, my steering is not very strong. Actually, hold on. My steering is still connected to that front wheel, despite the fact that I have, like, negative 90 degree camber. It does, it's still somehow got a tie rod on it. Uh, Danger Man has made it through the tunnel. So Danger Man could actually be a legit threat here to us. Oh, Shadow is still going. So Shadow and Danger Man are still going. We are going to just beach it in the sand and we are going to stop. And there is nothing that we can do here. That is as far as we roll. Shadow has still got some drive. It's not much. I don't think Shadow has steering properly anymore. So Shadow has drive. Danger Man doesn't. We're beached in the sand. It will become a case of will... Oh, Shadow's, Shadow's car's really hit, had a big hit somewhere. Danger Man might be able to actually roll better because it's not going to beach like mine does. Well, it might, it will probably still dig into the sand, but I think it's got a little bit more momentum. Shadow's surely going to end up in a crater at some point, and Shadow is in a crater. So it's now between me and Danger Man, and all Danger Man has to do is, yeah, carry more momentum. It's got stuck, but it has gone further. Danger Man will win. We will take second. Shadow is third and in the pit. Lado, after a dramatic start, ends up fourth with a big wreck. Brazen. I don't know how you've got stopped there, but it has had a big crash. Brazen is eliminated. Speed Beast found the tunnel in spectacular fashion, and the others have reset. Well done, Danger Man. On the victory, it was the van, funnily enough, that took the win. Uh, Robot, thank you very much for the super chat. So I shall edit my no brake suggestion. Still no brakes, and still pick what you want, but you have to give your vehicles acceleration. I, I wasn't going to... I mean, I wasn't going to quite cheat it like that. Oh, Gliska's on fire. Gliska! You're a lot on fire. Fire! <laughs> Just thought I should warn you. <laughs> much fire. Much fire has occurred there. Uh, also, Cobra, thank you for the super chat saying Shin Shintilla? Uh, yeah, that's, a that's another new way of, pr of spelling it, but I'm fine with that. Uh, <laughs> right. Shall we see what might occur here? So I've got to be slow. So, like, my car was fine. The amount of speed that I was taking, it was okay to deal with. It's just the, sus the steering and suspension wasn't strong enough. So that is the, you know, it's the street tune aspect of the car that was the problem there. Um, I don't know exactly what bumps killed it. Oh, Gliska with a very big hit there. Now, it may have just been an unlucky angle that we hit stuff at. Gliska's going to wreck Ooh, into there. We've all hit that at some point. Now, Lado is taking it a lot more sensibly this time. Now, these sort of bumps are, I think, what killed my suspension, if I'm not careful. Oh, gather it back up. Okay, we are fine. Brazen is behind us. I see the minivan of doom approaching. Uh, minivan, you know, you want to go through there at that sort of speed? I can't. I will be slowing down because uh, I try to keep my suspension alive. Brazen's launched it off one of the containers and is having a big death. Lado has spun over the checkerboard, and that's bad news for Lado's car. These bumps are awful for us. Ugh. I think it's broken my steering again, just not as bad as last time. There is a wheel from someone. Oh no, Brazen's in the way. Oh, there's a Lado. Uh, Brazen, are you going to be able to stay on this bit, or are you going to fall off? You've fallen off. Lado's fallen off as well. My steering is knackered. But it's still good enough. Lado is upside down. 
where is the wreck going to go? Is it going to end up in our path? Yes. Uh, Lado's made a flatmobile, and I can barely steer out of the way of it. <laughs> we are through. A wheel's overtaken us from someone there. It's off. It's, it's having its worst bid for freedom. <laughs> uh, that's a hell of a fast-moving wheel. However, I think if we don't do anything stupid now, we should be okay. Uh, we might actually have to pick up pace a little bit, because I'm rear-wheel drive and I'm worried about getting beached in the mud down here. Uh, so, come on. Oh, yeah, none of my front wheels are just stuck. My front wheels have gone again. How does that happen? I mean, Shadow launched it across the line. Shadow's car's disabled. Oh, wait, hold on. There's another wheel. No, Shadow's car is alive by the looks of it. So even if I somehow manage to dig my way out. Which is looking like it might be possible. Shadow still wins. I'm amazed Shadow's car survived that. That is a mighty impressive flight to have survived. Um, come on. Oh, it is digging itself out very slowly. But yeah, my, the front end of my car just collapses. It just collapses. Come on. Dig. Very, very slowly. Are we getting there? Oh, there we go. We're out. Uh, it's going to make it. However... It's not exactly healthy. Although neither is that. <laughs> neither of our cars are in very good shape. <laughs> Somehow that has still got some drive and some steering. And that's got about as much drive and steering as me. So I can't even claim that. Fair play. Well done, Shadow. Well done, Shadow, for pulling that one out off. Brazen made it to the sand dunes and got stuck. Although falls to fourth. Lado ends up third with the flatmobile. Glorious, glorious flatmobile. Uh, Speed Beast is in. Oh, Speed Beast got into a crater. Uh, actually, quite a lot of quite a lot of far distance. Oh, Gliska, we still had a bad start in that one. So yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't see where Rusky ended up. Uh, oh, Rusky! Oh no, Rusky's still going. Rusky might actually pass Lado and Brazen and does. <laughs> There's not much of a car left there. It's another yellow flatmobile at this point that is going to get stuck in the sand. And by the looks of it, it might have had a ruptured fuel tank. Don't know. It's coasted to a, to a stop. Well done. Well done, Shadow, for making that one that one work. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. How the hell do I stop my car from falling apart? It's a legit, very legit, important question here. How do I stop that from happening? So we, we were slow. There's no doubt about it. We were slow there. The only thing I can think of is we're going to have to go slower. But then... Go, well, Shadow will, will probably pass us. Potentially. The Sunburst is quite... Sunburst is clearly stronger than we are. Yeah. Yeah, the street tune suspension on the Bastion is not great, but, you know, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Brazen. Uh, okay, doesn't want to fight it. Oh, no. Poor Gliska lost an argument with a van. That's unfortunate. Although Karma might be about to get Danger Man. Oh, well, I've killed myself. I have absolutely wrecked my Bastion's chance. But, oh, Danger Man is backwards. That's quite impressive. Uh, we are on to the bumps, and I am struggling to slow down. I don't have much control. However, oh, Danger Man is chucked it over a ramp. So Brazen has got the oh, has got the lead. I would actually like my front left wheel to fall off at this point. My front left wheel, if it fell off, would help me out immensely. Because at the moment, all it does is fight against. Oh crap! And that probably goes my other side. Yeah. 
Okay, do I have enough control to dig myself out of here? Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, can I just shuffle it? No, I think we are... We are eliminated. It was Brazen having a good run. Oh! Oh, not anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not a shape a minivan should be in. I think you failed your side impact test. I don't think the vehicle is supposed to become a U-shape on the side impact test. I, th I think that's a failure right there. Uh, Shadow rolled and got stuck. Danger Man is wedged. Lado is wedged on me. Yeah, sorry, Lado. I kind of made that path impassable at that at that point. Gliska. Oh, Gliska's actually going. Gliska's got it traveling, and Brazen is not going to be able to do anything here. Uh, about the with the the, the U-shape minivan is going in a pit at this rate. Gliska is going to come past. Oh, Brazen's got. Astonishingly, Brazen has some amount of drive. It's not much drive, but it is some. And is now stalled. Or oh, I think no, Brazen's out of fuel. Brazen is out of fuel because the fuel tank ruptured in that one. Um, so it is going to be. I mean, Gliska with a strong position if it doesn't get stuck. Speedbeast is upside down and out of it. Uh, so yeah, it is. It's Gliska's round if it doesn't upgrade or Brazen pressure reset by accident, but yeah, we, we know that that thing was out, it was eliminated. Gliska's got problems with it getting beached in the sand, so that's probably front end damage is dragging on the floor. I mean, there's. It's, oh, nope, nope, we've, we've pulled it clear, kind of ish. Nope, it's stuck again. Yeah, I think it's stuck in the sand, however, it doesn't. I say it doesn't matter too much. Rusky is still going. Uh, it's quite laggy. And I don't quite know where Rusky is. <laughs> I don't know what's... <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the cover. Um, I mean... Uh, it might... Overtake... Oh, God. I don't, it's so laggy. I don't know... What was going on? And somehow it is still driving. I mean, Gliska's vehicle is fine. It's just obviously some suspension damage has has got it to the point where it's now running so low it gets beached. The covert does still seem to have some drive in it uh, as well. It is still kind of going, even if it is very laggy. Um, so, yeah, it is going to be Rusky that takes victory in this one. Danger Man, yeah, was eliminated. We were eliminated. Shadow was eliminated. Oh, Lado... Has Lado actually figured out a way? I mean, Lado could win this because Lado got stuck on the halfpipe by me and had to loop around, and obviously it's taken a while to get going. But Lado has kind of figured out a way. So it's now... Can Lado get to the bottom before Rusky does? Uh, maybe. Oh, this is going to be an absolute launch. <laughs> oh, no. It's going off the course. Uh, it's... Oh, it's off. It's gone. <laughs> it was an effort. <laughs> an effort was made. Jeez. <laughs> Full commitment was done by Lado there. As the cover is... Chonking its way slightly. It's it see so sometimes engine sound dies. We've seen that in Driven Door Destruction a few times. I think, I think it's finally beached itself in all of that. I mean, does Lano technically get closer to the finish line? I think they do. You know, I think Lado win. Although I don't know whether it counts. As Lado is technically off the course. But Lado is further along. Lado is, yeah, further along than Rusky. I, mean, I know this isn't a very straight line I'm drawing here. But yeah, there is, is clearly... Clearly, Lado is ahead. 
there. Glitch got unlucky. Glitch was having a great run, but damaging that just bottomed it out. Um, so there we go. There we go. What a round. Uh, what a silly round that one was. And this next round is going to get sillier. So, this next one, you can run whatever vehicle you like. However, you are not allowed to have brakes. And I don't know how this is going to work. Sorry, Shadow. Don't know how this is going to work. Don't know quite how. We might have to start a little further back because otherwise they're just going to naturally, um, naturally roll forward, like roll down the hill. So run whatever you like, but you will not have brakes. Uh... Now, there are a few different schools of thought that I'm having here. So, go for a pre-runner. The theory is it'll have suspension to deal with higher speeds over the various obstacles. But the problem you get is it'll fall over. The Dune Kicker suffers from a similar problem. Stam and uh, I don't think a Stam Beko will be too fully over, and it can be a bit laggy. But I think it'll be too fully over. I I do reckon a June kick is the way to go, but I do worry. I do worry about what might happen with this. It's, the, it's going to be the falling over. I mean, everything here is going to be pretty insane at the end of the day. Uh, right, so, basically, take off the brakes of whatever vehicle you might have. Uh, now, you could engine brake. You could try it. However, you will blow your engine to pieces. And then you can get to the bottom, and if you get to the bottom with a blowing up engine... And that's no good. Also, if you blow your engine up, it might lock everything up, and then you might spin wildly out of control. Also, not good. So, <laughs> we will have to see what the various silly contraptions may be. And I, I genuinely don't know what we're going to... Um, what we're going to see here from folks... Uh, Gliska is well set. Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> I mean, I. I <laughs> right, I don't want to be anywhere near that. Brazen's just going for the if I can't finish, no one can approach. Now, I don't quite know how... Oh, game. Duh. So, yeah, as you can see there, I can hit the handbrake, I can hit the brakes, doesn't do anything. Uh, I guess the way I'm going to be able to hold, get this on a start line... Uh, there we go. We can kind of slam it into reverse to stop it. I've got such big tyres... ...that I can... Kind of get away with it. Where are we should just, just rest truck. Rest. That'll do. Uh, oh, Brazen's off. <laughs> Brazen's off. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Uh, Killer robot. Yes, you bring out the worst in people. <laughs> That's the. Uh... Okay, Shadow's got a fairly sensible option. L Lado's not got a sensible option. It was. What are you going for? Okay. I think I know what Lado's going for here. Now, I could be wrong, but I think Lado's idea is use the friction of the rear not having any brakes to slow it down. I don't know if Brazen is going to try to use the trailer's brakes to slow it down. Technically, that wasn't in the rules. <laughs> so... <laughs> I love the creative creative ways we are finding. Oh, I see Speed Beast's idea. Um, okay, Rusty's right here. Speed Beast is trying to use rocket boosters to slow it down. 
Oh, I love. I I like. I like the creativity. Like I like a danger man's just gone. Stuff it. Is Gliska just going? I know what Gliska's plan is. Okay, so Gliska's idea is to fire the rockets and just hope to get to the bottom as a ball of metal and clear everyone. Uh, danger man's got a sense of his speed beast might try to use the rockets to slow it down. I think Lado's using friction to slow it down. I'm using off-road suspension to say screw it and hope. Shadow's just got a very strong car and Brazen's using a maybe using the trailer brakes or just going to ram everything out of the way. <laughs> and I'm not sure which. <laughs> uh, yeah, brakes aren't necessary. I know what Gliska's doing. Gliska's gonna launch a mini Piccolina off the map. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be entertaining. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay, Shadows now are stripped out and lightened Grand Marshal uh, for reasons. I This is one of... I have no idea what is going to happen here. Uh, I have absolutely no clue. And that's the fun of this. We've all taken quite different approaches and outside of Speed Beast, well, Speed Beast and Gliska have gone for the same vehicle, but I think they're going for different approaches with it. Um, if if Brazen's plan fails, it's going to be in the death of all of us. Uh, Danger Man is stripping out the car. I guess maybe less weight, less momentum might be what they're going for. It does still have... Uh, it looks like it has front brakes, but I don't know if stuff's sinking. Or is Danger Man just going to chuck it as well? I'm not sure. Um. <laughs> but it clearly doesn't have brakes going on. <laughs> it's just smashed the wall. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. This is going to be anyone's guess. It's going to be a wacky round. Uh, I mean, I feel like me and Shadow have the best chance of making it. But I don't think it's a very good chance. And when I've said, when I've said predictions before, you've seen what's happened. So, yeah... Uh, God knows what's going to happen in this. We are off. We are underway. I kind of want to see wherever the hell Gliska is. Um, right. I mean, we are going now. i got no other way of slowing it down, so we are just going to send the trophy truck and hope. Hope for the best. Uh, it sounds me. It sounds like the death spin from a spinner robot in either BattleBots or Robot Wars or something. It's got the death sound as the wheels are going across here. Okay, we're fine across the containers. Ooh. Okay, we lost a drive shaft. That's no biggie. That's a bigger problem. We're in the ice. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Death is about to occur. Ooh. Death occurred. <laughs> just, just death occurred. Rusky's crashed. Where is Gliska? Oh! <laughs> it's, it's working! It's working! Gliska is actually flying. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I don't quite know the exit strategy here. <laughs> Oh no, Gliska, you got off course. You're off course. <laughs> You're miles away. Uh, come on. Glide. I mean, Shadow's going to beat me. Uh, <laughs> gliding is working. <laughs> I mean, but unfortunately, Gliska is currently miles away from the finish line. <laughs> and also doing 130 miles an hour and about to hit the floor. Um, yeah, <laughs> Ryan Air landing incoming. Yeah, and about that landing. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That's not gone well. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's not in one piece anymore. Uh, <laughs> Shadow, oh, Shadow's also gone. I mean, <laughs> Shadow was at least on the course, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Gliska, the problem is you landed in Manchester Airport, but you were supposed to land in Stansted. That was the issue with that one. Uh, Brazen is in many pieces. Lado is cut in half. I don't know where the back end of Lado is. Uh, Speed Beast 
is technically still going. Now, look, speedies. I do appreciate this is a legit strategy. However, I feel like you're going to get timed out by virtue of I'm bored of waiting hours for your run to complete. Um, but, it, I mean, it is technically still going. Although, I tell you what, if it g picks up too much speed, oh, it gets a bit laggy and weird. Uh, where did... Uh, ooh, do, 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 wait, let's just check on everybody else. So, let's go, we know, splat in the wall. Lado, well, Lado's reset anyway. So, Shadow made it a good distance. Um... In, in all of that. We just got way too... We got way too fast. Danger Man... I think Danger Man was going for a throw it off the top, but I'm going to guess Danger Man's reset at some point and was just trying again. Uh, oh, by the looks of it, Speed Beast has fallen off. <laughs> yep, Speed Beast has exploded into a ball of... Minelina. What has happened here? <laughs> That's that's very broken. And there we go. Well, I mean, we got third. Well, kind of second-ish, depending on if you count Gliska. I mean, I think I count Gliska. I think Gliska got further than me, but Shadow wins that round, because at least Shadow stayed on the course. How am I going to slow this down? So my, my approach... I think I know how I'm going to do this. But... It's by no means going to be quick, and Shadow might stand a chance of beating me. We will see. Okay. I don't know why I'm putting the handbrake on. Okay, so Danger Man is just going for the fire it off there. Uh, right. I will do events. We'll wait for Gliska to reset, because it's very funny to watch that. Uh, right, we're going to try and not end up with the... Whoa. Well, Danger Man took off Lado's bed. Um... Yeah, I'm going to try and not get it to the, uh, the death howl from the off-road tyres. I'm going to try and avoid going that fast. The, and what that means is I'm going to have to be... I'm going to have to go... I'm going to have to mostly use gravity. I'm going to have to use very little throttle here to do this. But even then, to be fair, we weren't... We didn't use much throttle... I guess I used too much getting started. I could potentially try and shrug off some speed earlier on. Um, okay, Gliska is back up at the top. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. We try again. We try again. Okay, gravity, do your thing. Now, I can use the very big tyres on this. So, yeah, Lado's doing the same thing. We're trying to use the very big tyres. Oh! Uh, Speed Beast is locked behind a truck. Uh, see, even even off throttle, this just picks up so much speed. Oh crap! I've got to try and get in front of the truck. Oh no! The debris, the debris has caused us issues. Now we are a big off-road racing truck. We might survive if we land on our wheels, and this could say this. I mean, if we land on our wheels, just land, please land. Okay. That's good, that's bad. That's good and bad and bad and good. Okay. Oh, no, bad again. Oh, it was going so well and now it's going so not well. Okay, we twist over, roll over. Aha! Okay. It's gone better. Oh, it lost a drive shaft. Oh, I didn't realise it lost its drive shaft. I didn't see that. Oh! Brazen! <laughs> yep. Bloody... <laughs> Your bloody drinks have knocked me aboard. The, the debris just caused a million issues. Oh dear, Gliska. The dismount. The dismount is the problem. Oh no, we're back to Manchester again. Ooh. <laughs> Gliska Airlines needs to work on the landing. <laughs> Where else Speed Beast is at the um, half pipes? Uh, where did Shadow get to? Oh, Shadow didn't get very far either. Uh, Brazen... Oh. Might have had the game explode on them. Uh, oh, that, that attempt was worse. It landed in Liverpool. Even, even worse. I, I, of vehicles that have gone down here legitimately, I think 
I don't know. Uh, well, Speed Beasts is flailing. Well, I think Speed Beasts is maybe going to get the furthest. Um, it, it is slightly aided by being able to rocket boost even though it's shattered. Uh, whereas the rest of us can't do any such thing. But yeah. Okay, well, we were a bit unlucky. Debris kind of killed us there. Speed Beast will take a victory on this round. <laughs> it's very silly. I mean, it's glorious, but it is very silly. Uh, I, <laughs> I mean, sometimes when we get some of these challenges, I think they're, they're just going to, to not work. And I didn't think this one was going to work massively well. However... It has been a lot more fun. It's been a lot more fun because I, I I admire the amount of creativity that has gone into the solutions to essentially the problem. How do you get down this hill without breaks? We've got loads of different solutions to try and make this work. And none of them are working particularly well, but it is a funny selection. If I could get my truck... If I could somehow slow my truck down enough, I feel like we could do it. I feel like it's possible for my vehicle to do this without any brakes. But... His, uh, Lado's going for a very different strategy. I think I'm just going to have to... It is really like the smallest amount of acceleration here. Oh! Jeez. Yeah, I don't know if Brazen's... I don't know if the trailer even has brakes. I don't, it doesn't seem to be working. See, I can't... Even just trying to use gravity power here. I've put no throttle in other than the start, and now we're just off. Brazen's disintegrated, but the disintegration hasn't affected us. There's the death howl. Uh, oh, okay. Trophy truck. Now, we know it's going to go over the rocks, no problem. That bit's fine. Oh, that jump there's less fine. Okay, over the checkerboard. All good. Oh, no, it's because I can't steer off of there. Ooh, ooh. No, because uh, we've lost the drive shaft. We might. If it can get back on its wheels, like this. Come on, land, 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 land. Fantastic. Okay. We've shedded a lot of truck. But we have no, we have no drive left. However, we have all of the wheels still attached. Gliska's off to Liverpool again. You don't want to go to Liverpool, Christ. Uh, oh, no, no. Although I don't think you want to go to Stansted either. Or Heathrow, from my experience. None are great. Oh, dear. We're going to Cartwheel. Go on. Ball of Dune Kicker. At least it's going to make it to the finish line. It's not going to be in working condition. It astonishingly does still have a little bit of functioning steering. Oh, don't you dare. No. No! You! Ah! Uh, it's like three metres away from the finish line. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> you absolute asshole truck. <laughs> the finish line is there and we are stuck. There. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> there is no way you landed it. I saw you over that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure you did. <laughs> Speed base is disintegrated over there. Shadow has made it onto the sand, but got stuck. Uh, Danger Man has made it a surprisingly long way. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Danger Man is not much of a vehicle anymore. <laughs> what even was that? It was a... Well, Danger Man was using a Bastion. I think that's a scintilla. I think that's like an 1800 horsepower scintilla that has been just thrown off the top. And there is not much of it left. But it's still going. No, my luck, it's going to actually cross the finish line. Whereas mine survived quite well in one piece. Until it didn't. Um, I'm hoping that ball of scintilla and lag gets stuck in the mud. Because I'm going to be angry if that somehow makes it to the finish line. Oh, I think it is. Although, it might end up... It is currently on a path for hitting us. How have you not got stopped by this? And I... Nope, it's gonna... It is gonna make it. God damn it. 
Turns out what you need is more glitchiness. My vehicle was too close to pristine. Danger Man's is literally a ball of bits. <laughs> There's half a scintilla somewhere on the course. Well, I guess Danger Man technically wins. I mean, Lado might actually finish second as well. God damn it. Vehicles are making it down and it should have been me. Go on, Lado. Give us a nudge. Oh. I mean, Lado, if Lado's vehicle drives... <laughs> Lado is going to win. Lado has got drive and Lado has got steering. It's not very good drive and it's not very good steering, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, I feel slightly better now because it doesn't matter whether I cross the line or not. It's irrelevant. Lado would have won regardless. Lado has done it. Lado has done it. The covert minus the brakes has done the job. Good work, coverts. Turns out the gambler coverts have been quite good for this. The gambler coverts have been amazing. Shadow didn't have a great run with that. Brazen, oh, did Brazen get impalement spiked? Well, yes. Brazen, how have you got most of your truck there? You're under the map. Um... And there's the rest of you. Um, rescues over there. You know what, Gliska? I agree with that. Screw it. Let's go for a final, a final round. Let's go and fly. I didn't even. I didn't know there was a flying slash gliding Minolina. Uh, what a little crazy machine this is. Uh, let's all see if we can get one of these. Let's see who can land it closest to the bottom, shall we? Um, yeah. Oh god, I have never used this before. Didn't really know it was a thing. Jeez, it's alarmingly quick. Uh, okay, we will we will give it a go. We will give it a go. And see what happens uh, for a flight. The flight of the Millilin, whatever the thing was called. It can only go spectacularly well. Uh, right. We'll just load some vehicles in. Oh, and Brazen's truck's gone weird and landed on Speed Beast. I feel like Gliska has the advantage. Gliska knows what... Actually, you know what? I'm going to just have a little quick test. Oh. Okay, yeah, it's, it's quite difficult to control direction. <laughs> Funnily enough. I mean, how... Could you? Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, it does want to wander quite a lot. I feel like flying it low might be the way to go, kind of. Oh dear. So you have no in-air control. And once it starts tipping, it's almost impossible to bring it back don't know if it would ever be possible to land it in any way. We're going we're going even further away. How have I gone further away? How am I... Right, actually, what if I just go... Ooh, can I just loop it back in a circle? Uh, I, I'm not sure where I'm going. We're definitely not going to Manchester or Liverpool at this rate. Um... <laughs> Uh, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, there we go. We are definitely going for a landing here. Come on, can we land better than Gliska? Nope, we're going way too fast. Way too fast. Ooh. I mean, I would say it's it's not a good landing. But it's in more more of one piece than Gliska's landings were. <laughs> um, but there we go. Okay, we'll get everyone back to the top. It does. There, so there is a little bit of in air control. So when you t turn the front wheels in the air, it does slightly direct air. So it does slightly turn it. Not very much. And it's. It's up as Ali said. Yeah, it's kind of opposite to the way you're steering. Kind of twists it, but it's a bit inconsistent, and it tips. So, 
Yeah. Um, it's it's int it's it's gonna be a mess, pretty much. Um, oh, oh damn! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, it, it it does have an entertaining possibility for a demo derby, pretty much. Um, ah. Uh, Shadows, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so hey, thanks for using the skins I made. Glad you like them. I also hope you're having a fun stream. Apart from, of course, the frustration of uh, getting inches from the finish. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> We've had... Uh, it has been a great stream. Uh, this has been fantastic fun uh, to do today. We've had some very good rounds. We've had some very bad rounds. It has been highly entertaining indeed. Um... Bloody hell. Uh, and yeah, the, sk the skins are fantastic. We were supposed to ha thought we had them on today. Unfortunately, we don't. Uh, but we will get them. I'm sure we'll get them added plenty of, of times when we are well, we're running these events. Because, yeah, whenever I run a bastion, <laughs> it'll be in that. Um, uh, Mo Jojo Joe, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, first time, couldn't resist. Sorry. Ah, uh, the good old Cult of 69 is back again. It is back in its rightful place. Uh... <laughs> Right, can we get everyone to the top so we can get ready to see what might happen when we send seven of these off the map. Here we go. Here we go. And fire! Oh no! Okay, I got too low. <laughs> We're going for a quick... I want... Oh, oh. Okay, I don't know if I want to go this way. I feel like this is quite a danger. I'm playing a very dangerous game here. I kind of want to be able to do it. I'm going to have to go up over. I'm going to have to go over this one because that, that, that gap is way too narrow. And then I don't know how on earth you'd ever get it down. Could... You see, I'm full steering. When I say steering, I'm trying to twist it the way I want it to, but it's not working. Lado's done a pretty damn good job. I mean, we were doing a good job of the whole descent. I mean, we've got, like, the speed. The descent we've got really well to match the slope. We're gonna land pretty close. We're gonna land very hard. Ooh! Gliska with a great flight. Oh, Gliska's in the wall. Shadows in the wall. I mean, Gliska's... Gliska's probably got the best of the flights on that. Gliska's got to... The, we got the distance right. We just didn't get the angle. Bra <laughs> Brazen's ended up in... Well, Brazen's in Holland. <laughs> Brazen's in Holland. We've got... Lado in... I don't know... Luton, maybe? Uh, <laughs> with Shadow. Gliska's, Gliska's kind of made the runway just smashed off the end of it. <laughs> we've kind of... We've landed at the airport, but we've landed on the motor... Well, we've landed on the motorway next to the airport is what we've managed to do here. Um, yeah. And Speed Beast has landed at a small airfield uh, that I, I don't know. I don't know airports. I'm not good enough at geography. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think chat's going to have to decide. I, I, I got better in terms of distance. Gliska actually got into the landing zone, which I think is probably worth more points. Because, yeah. <laughs> that thing's cool, though. I like it. It's a fun challenge. It's a fun, a fun challenge. Oh, and <laughs> Danger Man is a spinning top at that point. Well, there we go. That was some downhill survival. It has been fantastic fun. There have been some highly entertaining rounds. There have been some very silly rounds. There has been, yeah, there's been some really unexpected results. Um, and, as, and as far as, especially that three-wheeled covert doing amazingly well. Um, oh, oh, we can take back off again. Uh-oh. Yeah, the steering being broken is not great. <laughs> uh, didn't, didn't, I don't know why I didn't expect to take off, but uh, yeah. We, now we are a spinning top as well. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed um, enjoyed, enjoyed this stream because I've had a lot of fun. Of course, 
thank you all very much for, for watching or spending your Friday evening with uh, with us here. Uh, thank you to everybody who donated along the way. It is very much appreciated indeed. Uh, we have had a wonderful I said, a wonderful time. Um, I think I read everyone's messages. I think we got through most of the requests. We tried to do as many as we could on that one. Uh, I hope you have... Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the nonsense. That, though, is going to be it from me. I will be back on Sunday with a stream of some sort. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, but there will be a stream on Sunday um, for some more fail racy entertainment, shall we say. Uh, so I hope you'll be able to join us for that one. However, that is going to be it for this evening. Uh, oh, uh, Born, Born Troll? I don't know if I pronounced that one correctly, but thank you very much uh, for the donation as well that just came in at the end. It is... Uh, it is greatly appreciated, of course. Um, oh, I will alert you. Yeah. Hopefully, I will see you folks back on Sunday. But, yeah, that shall be it from me. Until then, a uh, goodbye. <laughs>